the yes. track compared to some of our other tracks that we run on. Yeah. So yeah, definitely something talking. you got to pay attention to. Oh, stop, stop it. From that hydrant spot. Yeah. Yeah, when you're running that tight, though, it enables you. Like, if he's out in the middle of the track with those th that close to the hydrant, I don't know if he gets it on. It's going to be a tough cut. Yeah, I don't know if he would have got over. From Bill Bandits. Truck was stopping nice and straight in sea ladder. Let's Bomber see if Bill. from again. Bomber Bill sitting here with five points on the day. Here they come. He's keeping a straight heartbreak. Oh! Water rim! Oh, water on Nazlan and just a little nice bit. Nice hit on the target. <laughs> Gonna be close. Young Eddie on the Nazlan. Not so young anymore, but he One found that flap. Here we go. One, two, point eight. 84. 55 to the cones. Cone right. time difference. Mm -hmm. I missed the stick, but oh, uh, a nice run there by the band. Number 18, the West Sable Flying Dutchman. All right, West Sable's got a 1280, 1284, 13 flat. Three points on the day. You know, putting up a good shot is all about preparation, and uh, I noticed Eddie Jr. put the knee pad on the correct knee today. I was uh, I was at practice a week or so ago. Couldn't realize, couldn't figure out why one of his knees was bleeding. Put the knee pad on the wrong knee. With dementia setting in there. <laughs> I'd say. True story. I believe it. It's kind of weird. <laughs> if you keep getting off and keep bleeding on that knee. I think something's wrong, right? Somebody got to take a picture. <laughs> Why is my knee bleeding? Hmm. I have a pad on the other one. How come this needs to be? Oh, I'm making a mess. Some happy bandits down here right now. They would have liked first, but they'll take second where it sits right now. But a ways to go yet. Ah, what's able as a track? Here they come. Coming into the cones. At the hydrant. Hard break. Oh, you got to go hop. Oh! His last foot slipped out from under him a little Just bit, Paul. Just as he gets to the hydrant. Just as he was going to hook it up. His foot goes out. I don't know if it, it grabbed extra hard or it slipped. I couldn't quite tell. Right? It was a weird little scenario, but yeah. it keeps him from clicking and turning. But it looked like it was his last step coming in, and his whole body just jerked, and he couldn't hook it up. Yeah, it was like his plant step right there. You're right. He just threw it off. Paul, what was, uh, what was Farmingville's cone time? Did you hear it? 55. Thank you. That was a 50, right? 50? West Sable? So North Lindy still sitting first. Lindenhurst East Islip. And we still have not heard from Selden or Central Islip. They were on breakdowns, but at that time is... It's got to be getting tight. Ticking it. Oh, okay. So Central Islip is off their breakdown. They'll make their way to the start. Selden is out. CI will run last after East Isa, so three teams to go. 1280, 1284, 13 flat, 1323. The West Sable 1449, fifth. Track's been given to the Snails. Snails still have yet to hit the board today. They're running a tight line. And they're off. At the cone. Hard break. Off the hydrant. What are those? Up at the top, creeping. Nozzle only plays with a little bit now, Nozzle on. And just underneath a little bit. 
He might sneak into 12s there, Paul. That was a 731 open. Let's see. It's going to be nine. close. Yep. And just underneath a little bit. He might sneak into 12s there, Paul. That was a 731 open. Let's see. It's, it's going to be nine. close. Yep. We got a line. Time for Lindenhurst. 1, 2.8. That's the number for the day, the 12 eights. And a 59 to the cone, so we're still playing the cone game, right? The 50, the 55, the 59. Sewer lights, number 20, the East Islip Guzzlers. You look at that up at the nozzle there, Lenny, and he comes. Attention, please, Central Islip will be running immediately after East Islip. Selden has taken themselves out of this event. So he misses completely, gets an absolute second recovery try. Still a little shaky, then gets it on, but... You think about, go back to sea trucks 10 years ago and stuff, and without the motivation from the hydrant to the nozzle, it's a little bit more desperate. You could see he kept the calm, and he knew he had that much time. It wasn't like B.O.'s. Yeah, in the C races, you'll get that. Not, like you said, not so much in B. Yeah, and, B, uh, B he didn't panic, not though. not getting that second complete. Yeah. Not the way he missed completely attack, off. Yes. It had to come all the way back around and start over. But, again, he didn't panic. He kept his cool. Some yeah. guys will miss once and get nervous, hold it up in the air because they hear the water coming. But he played it cool. <laughs> Alright, East Isop has the track Hoses in practice for them A little bit up and down, I hear Pick a beast Isop Is it there? Same host, host team? State record Same no. host team? No. They're running the tight line This truck ran great in sea ladder For that 9-11 well, Here we go Team can run some hoes. Hey, a big run here, under 1280, and they're going to be in the mix for the overall for the day. Here they come. Tommy keeps it straight and narrow. Really cut through that cone right there. The hard break. Chuck's off. Oh, just a little deep. Just a little deep. About a step and a half deep, Paul. You're right. Struggled a little on the top end as well. 5 0 to the cone, so they were right there. Time for East Islip. 14.90. But just too deep. Real good water through the hose there for East Islip. All right, see. Central Islip will be coming up to the line. Yeah, he's off that breakdown, but there's no sea truck in sight. Yeah. Map quest. <laughs> Get out the map quest. All right, so with uh, one team to go. 1280, 84, 89, 13, 13, 23 by Copeg sitting in fifth place. I don't know. Now they're going to run? Did CI make their way around? Attention, Are they still over there? Selden will be participating in this event. And now Selden's back. They're in. They're out. They're in. This tournament will last till 10 p.m. no matter who tries to stop it. Just waiting for CI to take their spot on the start line. A couple pony action here at Saratoga, and they're off in the race, fourth race. If you have the eight horse, not off to a good start. Damn it. All right. So the hobo's sitting pretty points wise at the ladders. See if they can add on. We know they have the equipment and the skill. Put it all together in one shot. Warming it up. I am going to make a bold prediction here, boys. Okay, drum roll. I am going to say that this will be your first place CO shot. All right. 12. I'm on the record. 80. I don't think guess, you're, you're I guess a off, 65. Coming off a breakdown, you know, depending on what the issue is, the confidence level could be also different back there, you know? Sometimes if it's something more serious, it, oh, you know, just hope we get down the track. Yeah, we say we don't know what the <laughs> problem was, do we? No, we don't. That'd be a good idea to keep it from the guys, too, right? <laughs> Word is the, the issue... Wheels, the wheels have fallen off, but let's not tell them. The issue was electrical <laughs> for Central Islip. So they are... Uh, up and running now, so shouldn't scrub anything off their speed. The 
Selvin in the background, warming it up. Oh boy. A little squirrely. At the height, really tight. One, two, one on the hose. <laughs> up at the top. Oh, they really fought for it a little they bit. They had a runaways. I don't know if it crossed or he just never turned it. It looked like he never turned it, Paul. He, I think he pulled it before he turned it. Okay, that can bind it up as well. Wow. Yep. 716 open. A lot of potential right there. Time for Central Islip. 19.50 for Sia. Next to the lights off their breakdown, number five, the Selden Slowpokes. And Selden will be the last team here in COs. There's not much worse in this contest to view the breaker man than when your dummy length has water in it. Yeah. yeah. That's one of the worst things. Yeah, it's a pretty bad sign. You know it was a tough day at the office. Dun, 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 oh, dun, dun. make up our mind. Dun, dun, dun. Hold on. Selden will be running. So are they running? All right, so we can. S seems official now. Give you a little rundown. Hurry up and give the points before they change their mind. So that is going to be North Linnerhurst. Third race in a row. I'm good, thank you. Um, second place is going to be Farmingville. Third place is going to be Lindenhurst. Fourth place is going to be Islip. So Islip runs the race, hits the board. And fifth place is going to be Copeg. Yeah, so uh, oh, hey, they're gonna, can you hear them or you need it from me? Results. CO's competition. First place, five points. Number 15, North Lindenhurst. Second place, four points. Number 16, Farmingville. Third place, three points. Number 19, Lindenhurst. Fourth place, two points. Number three, Islip. Fifth place, one point. Number eight, Copeg. All right, so halfway through the drill at the turn here, North Linnerhurst is going to have 15. Second place is going to be for Central Islip. Third place is going to be nine for Farmingville. Fourth place, seven, Hagerman. And there's a whole gaggle of others with two, three, one, two, three, and four points. So everybody's still in it for a top five showing, except for Oyster Bay, because they've left the building. <laughs> Came and gone. Yep. Iceland wins B.O.'s. They're in it for top five. All right, I think we're going to take a little commercial break. You ready? To All right, we'll be back. Attention firefighters, are you still tracking your SCBA uh. cylinders using paper and pencil? Stop the insanity and get the CAT Cylinder Accountability Tag System from Coastal Fire Systems. The CAT makes refilling cylinders simple and easy, ensuring that your members never overfill a cylinder or fill one with an expired hydrostatic testing. Let the CAT system handle the wrecking keeping, inventory, alerts, and OSHA paperwork for you. There's only one place you can get the CAT system, and that's Coastal Fire Systems. Head to www.coastalfiresystems.com for for details and information. Fatty McGee's in East Islip. Wednesday is ladies' night at the best FD racing bar in Long Island. Stop in anytime for a drink with good company, a great lunch and dinner menu, and of course, those famous Fatty's Wings. The 2020 Fire Rescue and EMS Mega Show takes place February 15th and 16th at the Brentwood Sports Fieldhouse at Suffolk Community College. Check out the latest, most up-to-date turnout gear, thermal cameras, apparatus, and more. Hundreds of vendors will be present to explain and demonstrate their product lines and services along with the extrication competition. See you next February in Brentwood at the Mega Show. 
The Bill Fox Company has been in business over 65 years, specializing in custom championship rings, watches, badges, pins, and awards. The Bill Fox Company has crafted championship rings for the past state champions, including the Westerners, Flying Dutchman, Hobos, Wolves, and Yellow Hornets, as well as the Firefighter Combat Challenge Competition. Bill Fox Company is the recognizing name and recognizing people. Check them out on Facebook, Twitter, and on the web at www.billfoxco.com. Since 1973, Fire News has been a proud supporter of the time-honored tradition of New York State Drill Team Racing. As they approach 50 years covering the fire service throughout New York and beyond, Fire News is honored to continue as the official publication online coverage of New York State Drill Teams. Look for ongoing coverage in Fire News on firenews.com and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The Titan Group is the trusted name in apparel customization industry as a one-stop shop for all your drill team and department needs. As always, we offer all our in-house services, screen printing, embroidery, sublimation, and graphic design. Take advantage of our custom online ordering system. Simply choose your products, choose your logos, and have your members pay online. All your orders are separated upon delivery. Browse our vendor catalogs at www.titangroupapparel.com and follow us on Instagram at Titan Group Racing. Call us at 631-859-0. 075 or see Artie Seskine or Devin Robinson on a track. All eight, all day. Gear up, get on. That Titan Group. Rosenbauer Fire Apparatus is proud to be named as the exclusive fire apparatus manufacturer of New York State drill teams. Rosenbauer is the number one manufacturer of fire trucks on the planet and the industry leader in the next generation of reliable safety evolutions like the Smart Aerial Control System. If your department is considering an apparatus purchase, start the conversation with the local team at Eagle Fire Equipment and ensure a top-notch service with their partners at Nassau Fire Apparatus. Call area code 855-222-1075 or like them on Facebook. Integrated Wireless Technologies is proud to be part of the New York State Drill Team family as the exclusive Motorola dealer for New York State Drill Teams. IWT is the Motorola manufacturer's representative and offers the full line of Motorola products to fire department as well as David Clark headsets and sound off signal emergency lights. IWT is your one-stop shop for custom engineered radio solutions, licensing assistance, dispatch solutions, and top-notch reliable service with fully insured technicians. Start your next radio upgrade with IWT Check out their website at www.goiwt.com. With over 25 years of service in the fire industry, High Tech Fire and Safety continues to be a proud sponsor of New York State Drill Teams. High Tech has been honored to serve as master distributor for Morning Pride products, including state-of-the-art bunker gear, USAR gear, EMS gear, helmets, gloves, hoods, and boots. In addition to Morning Pride gear by Honeywell, High Tech also provides quality products, including ISG thermal imaging cameras and CMC rescue products and Deuce rescue systems, providing your fire department with the highest level of support and service for all your personal protection equipment needs. For personalized demos, speak to a certified sales specialist. Call 631-777-5170 or visit hightechfirenewyork.com. Not every evolution in vehicle rescue technology costs tens of thousands of dollars. The Beluga Glass Cutter finally makes windshield removal quick and safe, and fire departments can add the Beluga Glass Cutting Kit to their rescue setup for only $5.95. Head to www.coastalfiresystems.com to check out the Beluga in action. Coastal Fire Systems is the official SCBA dealer for New York State drill teams. Scott Air Packs, cylinders, RAT packs, refill compressor systems, Eddie Chris, are you back? Hyatt's boots, Protec, and Dragon Fire Gloves, as well as the future in thermal uh, uh, imaging are we, are we technology. Good, Chris? Coastal is also the one-stop dealer for Petzl, Scott, CMC, and Colorado bail Commercials systems, over? Along with professional training to keep your members uh, sharp and right. meet New York State requirements. I For hear information, now. check them out at www.coastalfiresystems.com. All right, everybody, we're back with those. Iceland Wolves will be taking the line, sitting here with two points that they got in their only contest they've run today, which is the CO's contest. Yeah, they could, they could end up playing a spoiler here, Paul. Steal those points. We're joined in the booth. Longtime racing man, racing legend, Patch Best. Pat? Hey, thank you, Lane. Appreciate it. It's great to be here. I, I, I don't know if I hear you. Are you in? I'll yell louder. Not a little bit more. Yeah, I think I got you. Yeah, you're right. Maybe right. a little bit closer to the... Yes, sir. There you go. Well, hello. <laughs> now you're here. <laughs> All right. It's great to be here. Thank you. The next contest to be run is yep. the B-Hoes contest. Yep. The New York State record is 7.55. All right. Yep. Held by okay. West test, 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 test. That's me. Number three, the Islip Wolves. All right, Islip Wolves, as we say, uh, aforementioned, uh, Chad. 
sitting there at the hydrant, haven't been given the white flag yet from any spot on the track. So Pat, you were upstate with us last week in Point Pleasant. We had a lot of fun. Oh, tremendous. Tremendous. Red hosts. That was a uh, bucket list item that I got to check off. Uh, you know what? I am excited. I think I had this conversation with you up there, but it, me too. I always wanted to race there. We never got the opportunity because it was the, always the Ice Up Town drill for the Bay Shore Redskins, but just going there and seeing that facility down in the valley, it was uh, really cool. Right, yeah. honey? You were there. Yeah, I agree. Again, it was new for all three of us, and uh, just a great experience all around from the, the hospitality to the facility itself. It's beautiful. Again, I just, in my head all day, I was just trying to figure out how can they run a state drill here? How can they do it? And I don't know. They, they'd have to do a lot of work, but uh, a great track. They need a little bit more land. Just a little bit more land, and they'll do it. And one of the highlights of the day last week was Point Pleasant's run in B. Hose. Yes. What a, what a great run. They, they run the, what, seven... 67, I believe, or yeah, I think we're right around, right there. around there. And unfortunately, unlike in Nassau and Suffolk County, is that when they break an area record, not a state record, but an area record, they go through the entire record breaking process. Like they keep very strict records up there in the western area, they do the same in northern. So they have to go through the entire process in terms of testing the water, testing the fuel, whatever it is you do for a state record, and it comes out that the water went too fast. Yeah. I mean, that's happened before, but it was unfortunate that it was so close. Now, they don't have a pump house up there. They're working off of a pumper. Yep. So uh, sometimes you have those issues. And, again, when, when you were upstate, when the island teams are up there, if you break a western record, they're not going to test you. Right. It happened to us many moons ago. We raced in Henrietta and had a nice pump shot, but... They do not count other areas in their Western records. But it didn't diminish the shot. I mean, the shot was, oh, was pretty beautiful. Easy gets. You know, the water on, the, the hose laid, the nozzle hit target, the whole thing was just something, a, a sight to see. And, and nice job by Point Pleasant, you know, just putting it out there like that. It also pretty much changed the fortunes of the day after that because it really did. That Affected just a bunch created of teams. a second half of the day where Hagerman and Farmerville all of a sudden, their fortunes changed. They went in one direction. Linnerhurst had run a 7-8 at that point, but they had to rerun because of the water. That 7-8 turns into worse, and then their yep. day, unfortunately, goes the other way as opposed to the fortunes from Hageman. And, and, and the Palmer same thing for Point, Paul. Point blew the right. second run as well. Right. So, so that, that, that put a kink in the rest of their day as well. But going, going back to their uh, uh, area record, you know, the, the reason that they chose to choose it with the state equipment is because sometimes when they were in a great shot, it was always questioned. And now I'm talking a long time ago. There were some skeptical people. So they, compl they complied, and they test the same way you do if it's a state record. So they want to be bona fide. All right, we're waiting for the course yeah. to clear here. I don't know. The, the, the officials walked up to the track. They're actually standing on the outside of Bicep's truck right now, and I don't know why. Yeah, they haven't uh, gotten the white flag from up further down the track. I'm not sure what the issue is here. Looks like Mike's getting back in the truck. He was out for a sec. Oh, he's back in. I hear a truck running back down It's an there. opportunity for a lot of bad jokes. There. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, he's not even close to the starting line. No. So we are as All perplexed right. as you are at home, folks. Well, that looks like they're going to make a move right now. Yeah, he's going to bring him up. He's going to have to uh, said heavy Kevy moving up to line him up. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Some, some somebody. Maybe he didn't warm up the tires yet, and he wants to do it there rather than in the zone where they want you to do no, it. I don't know why they might have got permission. Well, they, Maybe you had to get permission for it. I don't know. And they were they were out of the position that they could have been called for anything. Oh, he's coming up. Oh, hey, oh. Yeah, he's just creeping up. Maybe they didn't enter this contest. <laughs> they only entered the sea host. Or again, they, they may have asked to try and warm up their tires there and were denied. You know, you knows? see those really old score sheets, and maybe, Pat, you have the answer to this, is that some teams ran in some contests, but they wouldn't run in other contests. And I know that happens here today. You see Middle Place doesn't run sea ladder, but was it something about entering the contest? You know, because there was such a vast difference in the teams that ran and it could have been a class A pump or whatever it was called. Yes. Yeah. And it was just such a difference in every contest. Like, did you have to enter per contest? And this was probably department teams where you had a hook and ladder was one team, a host company was another. I'm, I'm talking old school shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, I mean, did they do that? You, only, you had to enter contests, not the drill as a whole? Or? Not that I'm aware of. I mean, if you... It just you, seems kind of weird. Yeah. 
I mean, and going back uh, old school, that uh, Sayasa used to give a bull ladder contest. They showed up. First contest of the day was C. C Hosta. Yeah. It wasn't until mid '70s that they even bought a ladder or had a ladder rack on their truck. Very strange. Ah, it looks like Isop's ready now. They've been given the track. Let's see if uh, the target smash can do a little bit better getting off the back of the truck on this one. A little, little difficult. They would hippity hop. Last one running the tight line. And they're off. Hard break of the hydrant. Tight. Oh, oh. just goes right by. Ooh, Mike gets cuts that tight, tight at the nozzle, too. Just he went deep at the nozzle off. as well. Yeah, I think he was deep all the way through at the hydrant. He barely had a half step to get it on. He definitely was deep. I mean, he went past. He had to pull it back. And again, deep at the nozzle end as well. So. Time for ice lip. 10.33. I don't think they have too many reps of the practice yet. The, nope. the Central Islip Hobos. Lenny, I don't know if you mentioned it, but uh, in this in this C hose contest, that was their third run of the year. I didn't, but it looked great. I mean, <laughs> yes, Mike had the truck dialed right in at 350. Uh, it was it was a thing of beauty. All right, here come the hobos. Hobos been a bit of a drought since the latter contest. Well, actually, since. B letter, they had nine at that point. So they actually they get one and then none, and now here they are in B. -hole. So that was Robbie Allen at the hydrant on that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuck out his arm, but he just wasn't. Nah, no way. Yep. That's up on the arch there, boys. Do I have to tilt it? Is that what you want me to do? Oh, I just saw I you get up you. from. I saw you get up from that chair. It was like you ran B hose this week or something. You know, I told you I threw my back out, the lower back there the other day. Do I have to fade out, Chris? Or what do you want me to do there? I'm trying to get a tilt. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting it. All right. So while Paul plays with the camera, the hobos have taken. The I've gotten the white flag, and they're revving it up. Stay there. So I will bring you through this one. And it starts off at the hydrant. Handle down. Oh. This is going to be a good run. Wow, Ryan off it. early. The breaker stayed on. No, he lost it at the hydrant. It came off there. Oh, I missed. I turned and looked the other way. and Presto Chinjo. He's still trying to get it on. Now he's got it. He initially pulled that stick at 245. Yeah, I had 46, Pat. It would have been hot. Uh, how long did it hold? I, I spun my head. For a little bit. Maybe the third length. The water got to the third, uh, to the, through the second length. Frustrating. One nine point four seven nineteen forty seven. It's just not Next good. Next for the lights, that. number five, the Selden Slowpokes. Oh no, I just blew everything. Is that better? Start line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that better? Looks better. All right. What was the final on that that time? Their, their final time. 1947. 1947. Who's the winner? 1947. Iceland Wolves. Say chance. All right. Two minutes to Wapner. <laughs> <laughs> Little track clean up at Selden Slowpoke. Yeah. Pulling up. More than a little back there, Paul. Uh, yeah. Selden, the recipient of uh, a very damp track now. Like, listen for these trucks' wheels spinning as they pull out. I, actually, where the water is, it's really past where he's going to be back in the gas. Yeah, well, that's I just mean, like a hydro man not caring about the other end. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> right, Pat? Uh, he doesn't okay. care once he's off the truck. Then you the know, truck's spinning and fishtailing. Good job. When you were riding on the corner there and you hear the wheel. It was like, oh, my gosh, here we go. Yeah. It's one more thing you didn't want to think about, but yeah. it enters your head for sure. It's, like, yeah. it's got to be like, it's like, go to work, go to work, got to go to work here. Let me know when you guys are done. Uh, seriously, Paul, it's one more factor. <laughs> Thank you for you joining think, Nozzle Talk. Yeah, now I really got to get there quick. We, you know the truck didn't get you there. I was in your fleet of foot days. 
just waiting for them to break out the towels now because the hygiene man might have to step in one damp spot. Mm -hmm. Tito, get me tissue. <laughs> All right there, Bert. Shout out to Ernie. Happy 50th. Yeah, that party should be going. Started at 2.30. Happy birthday, Billy Cornell. Big 5-0. Who would have thought he was going to make 50, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I lost that bet. All right, track's been given to the Slowpokes. Looking to get on the board for the day. Selden with that big old Ford B-Rig. And they're up. Through the timing light. Oh, he's really tight to the hydrant there, and he double. He's got it. Oh, he had, I don't know if he has that on at the hydrant. Yeah, I don't it think he does. might be crossed. This could be a tough one when the water comes out. Now he's half sticking it, but didn't it look like he had a tough time? Let's yeah. see. Ooh. <laughs> That's a happy birthday that right was there. A snap coupling set up right there. He didn't turn anything to get that off. Eleven. All right, not the greatest start here in B. Hose. Next to the lights, number six, the Hagerman Gambler. So Hagerman up at the at the drill in Point Pleasant, they run in, in B. Hose, they run a 15. And that's just changing their fortunes as they're heading downward. And then, bam, reruns. Hagerman comes back on the second run. They run that 8-0-1, and they get five out of it. And from there on, it was lights out. Thank you, Port Pleasant. Yep. Yeah, they had a had a five point lead going into buckets. The probably the one race they they struggled with the most, and Farmingville turning into a bucket team almost tied them overall. Yep. Needed a little bit more help in buckets, but uh, ended up finishing one point behind for a one two town of Brookhaven finish. Track just about dried up for the gamblers. Probably a couple little extra brushes. Mike Sikaski's about to put the adapter on. Beautiful sun and wind day. Yeah, Drive to track. Really it's not even, not even consideration. All right, so we got confirmation. Uh, Selden Hydraman, he had it crossed. Absolutely. He said he considered touching it, but he said, the heck with it, I'm not touching it. And uh, that's a lesson to all you Hydraman out there. If it's crossed and you're getting water going through, don't do a thing. Or maybe cross your fingers, that's about it. Oh, they got the Hagerman towel out now. Ralph Caliccio Jr. back there taking care of his boys. You know you're going to get a quick stick right here. His hands are amazing. Absolutely amazing. He, he actually reminds me of you a little bit, Paul. He turns that water on no matter what. <laughs> can't well, play you're the, going that fast. You can't yeah. play the contest unless you turn the water on. When it happens, silently, yeah, but it doesn't matter if it's connected or not, Pat. That <laughs> water's going down. You only get one shot. It's, it, again, he does it simultaneously, like you've explained, and it's a thing of beauty to watch when it works. Right, let's see what he gets here. Yeah, we said that. All right, at the high. Here, making an approach. And the break. He's off. Smoking. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, he missed, he missed the stick. Oh, he nothing. Goes runs past deep at the top. Completely end. missed the stick and give Johnny enough time to get back and get it on. But flying by. I think we, the stick. we jinxed him. Here I am saying it. The stick goes down every time, no matter what. And he missed it. 234 when he went for it. He threw his hand. But. In 896. Yep. Missed the stick, went by it at the, the nozzle end. That's for the lights number eight, the Copeg Yellowbird. 2-3 at the attempt. At the attempt, he's breaking, uh, making Hydra Man make a comeback here, but right over the top. His body was flying by. Ah, right, Copeg Yellowbirds, wide open for the Yellowbirds. 896 right there by Higgins. The shot. So far. Copeg currently with four points. There's a whole group of people down there. Somebody needs to separate themselves from everybody else. Two, three, four points. Ah, right, white flag given here. White flag given there. Ouch. We're gonna go. Stiff breeze continues here at Hagerman, coming right down the track behind Feels like these guys. That old patchwork breeze coming off the bay, right? Yeah. It was kind of nice going past there this morning. Yeah. It was. Out. A lot of memories, right, Pat? Yeah. A couple of blocks right. away from the Yellow track. Yellowbirds. 
through the lights at the hydrant. Oh, he stumbles into it. And I, I, I thought he caught it, but he had to go back and put it on. Boy, he went he went top heavy into the hydrant. But I, I think he was a little out of control, yeah, Paul. Maybe uh, upright a little yes. too much, standing up too much. Yeah, you can see when he got off, he was kind of jammed when he got in Top heavy going past it. Some real good water through the hose for the yellow birds. He didn't have a lot of room to play either. I was like a two-stepper. Yeah. Just like he was straight up too much. Yeah. Yeah. He ran directly into it. It was almost like he was using that as a stopping point instead of a starting point to get the race started, right? He was using to stop his momentum. So Miller placed with an opportunity to throw a run up here and grab some more points. Hope Big better put a little gumption in this fucking hose. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> this hose ain't going to make it. If anybody wants to know why we're getting kicked off YouTube, it's because Paul <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is correct. I thought we were on a seven-second delay. You know, there's a joke in here somewhere, and I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> You've tried to touch it before. I have to beat you back. Ooh. And I'm pumped. <laughs> hey, if we're going off the air, we're going off strong. Yeah, let's go out <laughs> with a bang. Hey, see? Little Brenneman action from Cincinnati, right? So if you look at yeah, if you <laughs> go harder go, and go home, <laughs> that was great. You know, I just like to apologize for it. It's deep to left. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be signing off right now. <laughs> oh, too much. What's wrong with this world? But anyway, Kopek, you said they had good work. Oh, is that hose is right on the number. Yeah, it was good. The number's 144. It's 144. <laughs> Period. We uh, do, have, place. do have our officials down here keeping an eye on the water times through the hose, mm -hmm. make sure everybody's competing fairly. Did you guys note the uh, uh, Miller place in B-Ladder with B-Ladder points, I think, for the first time? Was it? Yep. Okay. Uh, <sighs> all right. What, uh, hang on. I'll take a look. Miller place. So that was there. Ladder? I guess last year Labor Day was the first points with the B truck, maybe, right? Okay. Or the C and truck. They, okay. And they scored in pump, too, one time. So okay. the, the B truck was broken in, but not the ladder team, I don't think. All right. Here they come. B host. At the high trip. He's got room to play. Water in the hose. Good water. Hey, put it on the flat, but we're going to have a leader. Justin Kichi. Ah. High eight. That's going to be a high eight, exactly. Did you have a stick time, Pat? I did. Going through the line. Um, Time for Miller Place. 8.71. 8.71. water on. Okay. I had a little better than that. 88. Whatever it was, nice run there. Miller Place. And he just catches that flap as the water goes across the target. Yeah. Just enough to make that top pop up. It wasn't the first drop, but it was decent. All right, the Pistonockers, they're on a little bit of a streak right here. Three race wins in a row. Leaders of the drill by five. Yeah, Last yeah. week in B-Hose, they run 847 for a third place. They only ran it once, remember? They were the they ran after Point Pleasant, so yep. they were on the line. They went from running there to run number one, and they run the 847. Uh, up third. Our broadcasting colleague, Birthday Billy... Reminded me, you know, they were on such a run a couple of weeks ago, five tournament wins in a row, yet the last two weeks struggled a little bit, a fourth overall and a fifth overall. So looking to get that mojo back here, North Lindenhurst is. Uh, the mojo's back. They won three contests in a row, and the numbers were pretty good. See what happens. All right, lining it up tight. This is where you rely on a really good landscaper, right? Keep that... Keep that crabgrass cut <laughs> tight. Two revs and here we go. Yep. All right, in the break. Chris Connor, woo! Three short steps, water in the hose. Smelly's got to get busy up at the top. Oh, he overgoes, comes back. Oh, he almost got it. He almost got it. Matt went forward, put two hands on the ground. Yeah, I think he's two weeks in a row. Yep, leaning forward over it a little bit. I had 231 open. Hey, 
Hey, they ran the same time in Seahoes and Behos. That's hard to do. <laughs> That's got to be a first. Because normally, yeah. right? Behos 12 wouldn't even count. Yeah, there should be about a four-second differential there. Just think about that. You were here when that happened. <laughs> this day in racing. Where's Twan? He's going to come up. There you right go. That Twan, write that down. Yeah, so Smithy, you, you just said that. He gets, he, he's going past. He puts both hands on the ground. He did that last week in Point Pleasant because I yeah. kept talking about it, but he got it on, and he runs the – he didn't get enough time to get back, only because I think Chris's 2-3 was on fire. Yeah, yeah. 231. But he had a shot at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If he gets off normal, he runs into it. I, now, I, I couldn't see from my angle by Matt leaning forward. Did that prevent Ducky from breaking it? Was that like. I think it was broken for him. I just don't yeah, think oh, he okay. had enough time to get back yeah, and get I, a, I couldn't he, see. He got over to part, but the pin, him pinning the coupling was delayed. Right. And you know, you got to drop him up there. If you're going to drop the guy back there like that, you got to drop it up here like that and be hosed. Yeah. Chris kind of does a nice job. He has those three little short steps, and then bam, water in. Especially with the course as we're looking at it now, it is totally dry to bring it in yep. deep as you want. All right, Farmerville Bandits, an opportunity for the Bandits as they sit here with nine. This is Bandit time of day, right? They hit this yeah. little fish, see, little buckets, maybe scoring a pump. Yeah, they came on strong last week. It's neat to see, man. They're a nice squad. Oh, were they first in efficiency last week? I think third in pump and first in buckets. Yeah, they win efficiency. They run a five, I believe, their first five First five ever, ever yep. In motor pump. And here's another track where they can come back to the back with that. So the pressure's going to be on here. Eight seventy one Miller Place, first place. Eight ninety six Hagerman, second. So this is wide open. It is really this the is. day the Bandits get the first win? This is again execution, Paul. They, they need those three aspects. You know, top end, good drive, and finish it off. Bandits need this race if they're gonna if they're gonna hit the glory today. All right, at the approach. Hi, Jenny's tight. He's got water in the hose. Water on. Creeping in. Ooh, they oh, they struggle. They fight. Couldn't get it broken. I got to say, he pulled it away from him. Break him in. Got to pin it, man. They went a little extra break at the hydrant. I think 289 open, but still could have been a first place it, it's, run. It's like that. It's like that. Time, time for Farmingville. 13, 72. It's like, you know, you get lazy as the breaking man, and you just think it's and always going to come off 18, easily. The West yeah. Sayville Flying Dutchman. And when you go back to the mechanics, it's, you know, face the nozzle man, push, turn, off throw get behind and he tried to do it all in one motion if you looked at it he tried to he was rolling out before he ever got it off he was bringing it with him yep yeah and yeah. the cardinal the cardinal rule is don't touch it don't touch it until it's pinned absolutely and you, and you saw a little uh, eddie jr he was just he was like following the hose where are you going where are you going mm -hmm. I, I need that yeah, the breaker's primary job is to do just that get the coupling off everything after that is gravy yeah but he's got to wait for the other guy to get there oh for sure man that was a big opportunity for the bandits huge You'll be seeing that one in there. Nightmares. West Sable Flying Dutchman. They have three points on the day. One of those teams down there fighting for top five. So not the best Behos contest. 871, 896. So where do we go from there? 1033 by CI. Or is that... Yeah, 1033, then 1125 Oof, by Copeg. And then right now, fifth place is 1145 yeah. by Selden. Yeah, with the last three teams I was looking at, those times are not going to last. All right, smarty pants. All right, track's been given to the Dutch. Here they come. At the hydrant, he's got some room to play here. A lot of run. Oh, man, Slackman goes down hard. But yep. Waters in the hose. Up at the top, he overruns. Just doesn't have time to get back. They both went by it. Breakerman stretching to get back to it. Nozzleman about a half a step by it. Nice job by Billy there. He didn't really have a Slackman, I guess. Oh, he went down yeah, hard. Yeah, Slackman went down, but you left, left him enough. 246 yeah. open. Had first place written all over it. Time for West Sayville. Yeah. 
If I could also say... Nozzle length isn't painted on both sides. I mean, that was the key of where I was, is the paint, if you're in the paint. Right. And, he's, and he, had it, he has it plain white on the other side. Interesting. It's a good, good point. point. Pat, yeah. We did the same, and I've told this story. I mean, I would paint solid back about six feet, and then a couple of stripes before. That. But when you see the stripes, you know sure. it's coming. You see the solid, get down. The, the other method uh, which I used was the paint was the length of how I could, as fast as I could stop at full speed. So if, if I was in the paint, uh, you know, I had to throw out the anchor. Beforehand, I could glide in, and once you were in the paint, then I know I could stop. See the anchor man walking toward you. Got a little bit of a black stripe down the front of his shirt from hitting the pavement. He says he's okay. So all you Sable fans listening at home, he's good to hear. Pride is hurt, but other than that, he's all right. Lenny, repeat. What did you have on his hydrant hit? Two four six. Wow, lit it up. Four seventy five water through the hose for West Sable. Lindenhurst snails take the line. Don't know how much you've gotten to watch them, Pat, but uh, this Brendan at the hydrant, Brendan Sullivan, he's uh, really been lighting it up lately. I saw him last week with the first shot. Yeah, that's right. Really <laughs> he's uh, he sure did. Quite an athlete, whether it's racing or golf or whatever he takes on, he's he's quite the athlete. All right, here come the snails. Snails only in uh, three points right here. So another one in that large group trying to get into the. Top five mix for good. At the approach. Oh, he's going to be tight. Woo! Gets the water on up at the top. These guys are going to have to put a stop on it. Oh, he gets it on. And they both went past it. He did get it on, but they shut, shut the, the water, water down. off. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that it would have I don't know how many times I've said this, but you can never turn the water off. Because of that reason right there. Right. Well, that nozzle was pointing due to left. To me. <laughs> Towards us up here. It was further Ten, west than that. 46. Never turn the water off because miracles happen. And if he, if he doesn't get it on, you're not scoring anyway. 256 <laughs> open for difference? Brandon. If you have to turn the water off, I mean, today's difference, you know, with a 22 is going to score or something. But normally, if, if you have to turn the water off, you're not scoring. It's over. So leave it on. Right. Let the miracle happen. And when you turn it back on, you're pushing dead water. Yeah. So it, it, makes it, it ruins your water time totally. Lenny, how did you feel about the drop? Where were they on the ground there? You know, I didn't see the exact spot. I just, my first thought, Pat, is they got to push off that bar maybe a little bit harder. Um, yeah, lean back, It's man. an adjustment that, you know, the drivers do the best they can to put you in the perfect spot all the time, but it's just never going to happen. He so would, you have to know exactly what it is before you get off the truck. They were deep and hot in both spots. Did a nice job hooking up the hydrant. Now, here's the tight. That's base short tight right there. Yes, it is. He's mowing some lawn. That's East Islip. That is tight. But you know what? As soon as he gets to the hydrant, it's going to open up perfect for him. If he can get the two to three step drop, he's on it. The only problem is, and now he uses a 45, a yeah. little bit pointed down, I see. Yep. Right? The issue so with tight works for him. Yeah, I, absolutely. The only thing is, sometimes if you see where the right hand, uh, the, the passenger side, top front side, uh -huh. and the rear, it's be in the, the track. Yeah. And sometimes it gets, I believe it or not, a little sandy over there. And you start to slide and slide down into the hydrant. And he's not in anybody you, else's rubber you, either. You got, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You've got to really play that on a fine line when you see the truck. So let's see where he goes here. Pulls it out into it. Here's East Islip. Yeah. He was hot. Too tight. He's got it. Oh. Went back and got the handle. He's going to give him a little bit of time up here to get it. Still going to be all right. I mean, he goes by, comes back, and gets the handle. Yeah, he hung the coupling. He just couldn't get the handle with it. You could see the speed right. Time rise. for East Islip, 9.25, 9.25. Sometimes if you're, if you're in the other brake marks of the other trucks, that truck will stop a little bit better, and he might have been able to get the handle. To me, I thought they really come through. Yep. So that was an ugly one, everybody. But not for the Miller Place Extinguishers. That's got to be yeah. a two. It's Islip. The band the 1033. Mm -hmm. So they go to four. Place, and then 1046. Lindenhurst. Second place, four points. He's going to get one. Number six, Hagerman. Third place, three points. Number 20, East Islip. Fourth place, two points. Number three, Islip. Fifth place, one point. Number 19, Lindenhurst. 
So with three to go, it's tightening it up. North Lenny with 15. Um, in second place is now going to be the Hagerman Gamblers. Third place is going to be the Hobos at 10. Fourth place is going to be nine Farmingville Bandits. And then in fifth place is going to be seven for East Islip. And just hanging outside the top five is Miller Place with six. Islip, I don't know if they're running anymore, but they have four. Lindenhurst has four. Oh, and it's pretty tight. I spoke to Islip. I think they're going to run efficiency and pump. Oh, wow. So they're still in it. In it. I think uh, we're waiting for the – are you going to do anything else? No? All right. I know. All right. We'll be back. Back with efficiency. Attention firefighters, are you still tracking your SCBA cylinders using paper and pencil? Stop the insanity and get the CAT Cylinder Accountability Tag System from Coastal Fire Systems. The CAT makes refilling cylinders simple and easy, ensuring that your members never overfill a cylinder or fill one with an expired hydrostatic testing. Let the CAT system handle the wrecking keeping, inventory, alerts, and OSHA paperwork for you. There's only one place you can get the CAT system, and that's Coastal Fire Systems. Head to www.coastalfiresystems.com for details and information. Fatty McGee's in East Islip. Wednesday is ladies night at the best FD racing bar in Long Island. Stop in anytime for a drink with good company, a great lunch and dinner menu, and of course those famous Fatty's wings. The 2020 Fire Rescue and EMS Mega Show takes place February 15th and 16th at the Brentwood Sports Fieldhouse at Suffolk Community College. Check out the latest, most up-to-date turnout gear, thermal cameras, apparatus, and more. Hundreds of vendors will be present to explain and demonstrate their product lines and services along with the extrication competition. See you next February in Brentwood at the Mega Show. The Bill Fox Company has been in business over 65 years, specializing in custom championship rings, watches, badges, pins, and awards. The Bill Fox Company has crafted championship rings for the past state champions, Hagerman. including the Westerners, Flying Dutchman, Hobos, Wolves, and Yellow Hornets, as well as the Firefighter Combat Challenge Competition. Bill Fox Company is the recognizing name and recognizing people. Check them out on Facebook, Twitter, and on the web at www.billfoxco.com. Since 1973, Fire News has been a proud supporter of the time-honored tradition of New York State Drill Team Racing. As they approach 50 years covering the fire service throughout New York and beyond, Fire News is honored to continue as the official publication and online coverage of New York State Drill Teams. Look for ongoing coverage in Fire News on firenews.com and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The Titan Group is the trusted name in apparel customization industry as a one-stop shop for all your drill team and department needs. As always, we offer all our in-house services, screen printing, embroidery, sublimation, and graphic design. Take advantage of our custom online ordering system. Simply choose your products, choose your logos, and have your members pay online. All your orders are separated upon delivery. Browse our vendor catalogs at www.titangroupapparel.com and follow us on Instagram at Titan Group Racing. Call us at 631-859-0. 075 or see Artie Seskine or Devin Robinson on a track. All eight, all day. Gear up, get on the Titan Group. Rosenbauer Fire Apparatus is proud to be named as the exclusive fire apparatus manufacturer of New York State drill teams. Rosenbauer is the number one manufacturer of fire trucks on the planet and the industry leader in the next generation of reliable safety evolutions like the Smart Aerial Control System. If your department is considering an apparatus purchase, start the conversation with the local team at Eagle Fire Equipment and ensure top-notch service with their partners at Nassau Fire Apparatus. Call area code 855-222-1075 or like them on Facebook. Integrated Wireless Technologies is proud to be part of the New York State Drill Team family as the exclusive Motorola deal for New York State Drill Teams. IWT is the Motorola manufacturer's representative and offers the full line of Motorola products to fire department as well as David Clark headsets and sound off signal emergency lights. IWT is your one-stop shop for custom engineered radio solutions, licensing assistance, dispatch solutions, and top-notch reliable service with fully insured technicians. Start your next radio upgrade with IWT Check out their website at www.goiwt.com. 
With over 25 years of service in the fire industry, High Tech Fire and Safety continues to be a proud sponsor of New York State drill teams. High Tech has been honored to serve as master distributor for Morning Pride products, including state-of-the-art bunker gear, USAR gear, EMS gear, helmets, gloves, hoods, and boots. In addition to Morning Pride gear by Honeywell, High Tech also provides quality products, including ISG thermal imaging cameras and CMC rescue products and Deuce rescue systems, providing your fire department with the highest level of support and service for all your personal Personal protection equipment needs. For personalized demo, speak to a certified sales specialist. Call 631-777-5170 or visit hightechfirenewyork.com. Not every evolution in vehicle rescue technology costs tens of thousands of dollars. The Beluga glass cutter finally makes windshield removal quick and safe, and fire departments can add the Beluga glass cutting kit to their rescue setup for only $5.95. Head to www.coastalfiresystems.com to check out the Beluga in action. Coastal Fire Systems is the official SCBA dealer for New York State drill teams, Scott Air Packs, Cylinders, RAT Packs, Refill Compressor Systems, Gas Detectors, Hyatt's Boots, Protec, and Dragon Fire Gloves, as well as the future in thermal imaging t technology. Coastal is also the one-stop dealer for Petzl, Scott, CMC, and Colorado Bailout Systems, along with professional training to keep your members sharp and meet New York State requirements. For more information, check them out at www.coastalfiresystems.com. The groundbreaking FDNY Electronic Accountability System is now available to departments nationwide from Systems Definition Incorporated or your local Motorola dealer. SDI is the well-known software application developer for FDNY and is the company behind this game-changing so, technology. Let's go now. now, SDI I has paired two. with New York fire departments, including Central Islip, to solve the challenge of accounting for members who respond after the tones go off. Keep track. What are you of trying to see on two? The the New York State it's good. Slip walls. Is that it? Which one's the, which one's the out on these left buttons? Oh shit! I can't reach. Where on the top? Oh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, what do you all mean? right. I slip has the line. Uh, I, yeah, go ahead, Pat. Take it. I'm gonna. Efficiency contest. First to run, Isla Wolves. They're ready and set. How's that better, Chris? Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, Pat. All right, and they're away, coming down the track. Hydra Man, water Ooh. on the hose. Looking good. Ice hose Can leg. they get that third length out? Oh. Uh, miss on the oh. target. Never. There. Good run in the making, though. He was waving like the American flag on top of that pole right there. But the wind did not affect that hit. I mean, the wind's right behind him, so. That, that hit created wind. So for record happens here is there. Good water on, right? Good water on. He had a, uh, and. Um, yeah, I had like two nine. Great hose lay. Yep. Big, big shout out to Hageman and the Hageman Fire Department, Hageman Gamblers for putting this together. I know we're going to be here this week. We're going to be here Labor Day. There's no Nassau County Labor Day drill this year, so Labor Day is going to be here only here in Hageman. I'm expected maybe a 20 team tournament next week. You know, a little old school action and. Uh, well, there were 19 listed today. Yeah. At, well, for yesterday. Right. Anyway. But Hageman, and we set this up in Point Pleasant, and all the teams that everybody's been hosting this year just done just a phenomenal job trying to get this sport back out there so we didn't lose an entire year. And, you know, not only has Hageman had a phenomenal racing year themselves, but everything they're doing to continue to try to put this together has been great. And and me and Pat were just talking about this. Joe Gonley, this is the, the Joe Gonley drill that had come up the year or two years ago. And, and Joe Gonley was actually at one time um, vice president of the Suffolk County Parade and Drill Teams Cap Association. He was with us. And the commissioner here in Hageman, I'm sure probably chief and everything too. I don't know the full regalia of all his things he's done for the Hageman Fire Department, but I know he was a really big part of the Hageman Fire Department. Loved drill team racing, and like I said, so much that he became vice president in uh, the Suffolk County Association. That's great info. Glad yeah. to know. And I came, I come here to the drill, I see the name. You know, I'd like to know what, what it's about. Well, instrumental, I believe, in this whole track setup and all those type of things that were going on. Yeah. That's very true. And they, they don't know what you said, but yeah. 
So CI is actually running in their correct spot this time. I don't know how they could take the breakdown in efficiency, but and they're off. They might have tried. Good oh, that's a nice water. Good water on. on. Two ninety-seven. I had water out, Ooh. and a little bit of miss on the target. Yeah, it's going to be mid nines, but un CI like right on that target. So that hit definitely cost them. You see the hobos run efficiency, and you take for granted sometimes that you know you have to run all these little things like hit the target because for the hobos, for go back, I don't know how many years you want to go, maybe a hundred, that the target has always been the thing that's set them apart from everybody because it's been so consistent that's, no matter who runs it. That's sure. kind of the given. It, there was at one point that you had to be named Miller <laughs> to hit the target. Yeah. And it was a great racing family from CI. As one of many, right? Yeah. Selden Slowpokes making their way to the start. Selden looking to get on the board here today. We've seen some transition this year. I mean, I'm sure COVID has something to do with it, but a little more parity in the uh, dual team racing this year. I just, uh, I don't know. If you, you don't have uh, one singular yeah. powerhouse yeah. or even two powerhouses running with every drill or well, anything You're seeing like a lot of other teams putting in the time and the effort, and nothing replaces time, effort, and, and getting to know how to run the con. Go ahead. Yeah, sure, and everybody helps each other. So we yep. know you know what to do if you're listening. Exactly. Yeah. Have personnel transitions on different teams, it seems, a little more this year than others where, like I said, you don't have these you know singular powerhouses. We always believed if you could bring the alcohol to the right people, <laughs> you, you can learn, learn as much as you want. <laughs> Truth serum. <laughs> All right, slow pokes. Go ahead, Pat. You can do and it. And they're away. Here they come. Stick man. Stick, stick woman. Stick person. Hydra man misses a little bit of wash in the race. Kind of slows down. She is mad. Mm -hmm. That turn on lady. She beat him to the pin. He's going to have to answer to that one when they get back to Selden. <laughs> Time for Selden, 13, I could really ruin a relationship. Next with the lights, number six. You're saying they're the right? Hagerman Gamblers. <laughs> I, Hagerman comes in second place, and it really, after the B.O. shot, turned the tide for them. Hagerman ends the, uh, the next three contests with B.O.'s was 5-4-5, five, five, and they're in a 9-30 at second place in Point Pleasant. So they'll be looking for some more of that today as they're sitting in second place, four points out. Selden getting their hose measured, and it's close. Well, it looks like they're breaking it down. They got the okay. Yeah. Think about it. Hagerman sitting here at 11 points. They missed Sea Ladder. They had not the regular driver drive Sea hose. I mean, that's inside information. They I didn't know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, the driver was at the airport picking up his wife. That's why they didn't run sea ladder. You can insert ah. whatever, anything you want to say. Feel free. We said a couple of things. I'm not going near that. <laughs> I have a wife too. Yes, you know, exactly. But but they are strong the rest of the way out though. Yeah, but those two content. I mean, that sea truck is running is motivated. So. Yep. And still four points out, three to go, and efficiency one of their better races. So you're, saying, legs. so you're saying they may do this the hard way, right? That's yeah. a no yeah. sea truck, right? Yeah. Via, via LaGuardia. So the gamblers now have the course, and they're calling them off. Waiting for the start. And they are off. Hydra man down the course. Order on. Nice. Stick man down. Hose is getting out well. This will be about a target hit. And low miss at the start. I think it's going to play with the first place number, which is a 70, but could have been better. 528 water through the hose. Yeah, you're right around a 70. 9.61. All right. 306 I had on a handle. Uh, Yellow Birds, four points on the day. They need a, a big number here. They'd like to beat that 9-6 to put them in the mix for a top five drive down the track. 
This just in, we have a Billy Cornell party update. <laughs> Daryl is still awake. No way. Breaking news. It. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're waiting on the yellow birds. Adapt the man police in the course picking up Mike McKeska. He's the butcher Hagerman. Ah, I think he's just running the track here right now. But I can, something must have been on the track, right? Oh. Somebody threw some pennies out there. <laughs> he picked it up. He's policing the track, yeah. man. You, get, you gotta love it. Yellowbirds right. on the line and ready. And they're off. Hydroman out, water in the hose. Some good hydrant hits here. It's all about getting the target done. Oh, he and tickled it. Yes. Still, I think they're going to like this overall, but. 328 open, 511 through the hose. Time for Cope. All right, 950 leader. As Boy. we're creeping away towards respectability here. Boy, he hits that first drop. That's a real low nine. The Miller Place extinguisher. If you look at the totality of the hose getting out for them, it didn't seem like it got out like the other teams right before them. Like there was a little bit more angulation and the water wasn't going through as fast. And still, if he hits the target, I mean, we're talking really low nine. I'd bet you a guess this could be the most important motorized run in the history of the Miller Place Extinguishers right here. Six points on the day, coming off of first place. They hit this, only a 9-5 on the board. Uh -huh. Talking about putting themselves in a position for the last two. Sure. I mean, this is, this is the nerves you like when you're on the extinguisher, right? You get a little butterfly in your stomach here. Hey. That's a good problem. Yeah, exactly. We, we just one B hose. The, we're 9 fives the number up there. Let's go. Miller Place stepping up a few years ago from the old-fashioned circuit, so they got plenty of practice with this race. I'm, so. I'm so glad they were able to come out and doing what they're doing this year with both trucks. You know, if, if you're ever going to have a time where, hey, we can test some guys out and learn and do this is a year for it. It does look like a lot of youthful bodies down there, Paul. And they're a combination team. They have Rocky Point and I believe Medford in the mix mm -hmm. with them. Medford or Manorville? I'm not sure. One of those. But all old-fashioned teams that, you know, combine to form this motorized team. And it says a lot about just the volunteer fire service. Good. Camaraderie, working together, you know, your local departments, you know, all those type of things. Bring it on. Mutually. Speaking to them, they have difficulties with three departments, three different drills, three different, you know. It, it's a challenge to get a common practice right. night. Sure. That's Coordination. True. So here they come. And they're off. Hydroman breaks light. Water in the hose. A little late on the stick around 321. I Third had. length, water going backwards, target, and he washed. He tickled it, too. He knows that he's angry, and I don't understand yeah. why. I would have liked to see the nozzle man and the, and the backup man run it out a little bit further. It looked like they gave up a little early. Yeah, and it, I think he gave up having a good stream at it, and also with that, he Time had like a fog pattern. They gave up running full speed maybe 20 feet early. Typically, when I ran back in the way back in the day, yeah. we were running hard to the 25 feet before the nozzle line, and that's when you kind of threw on the brakes and got under control. Sure. Like they gave up a little bit early on that, and again, that just gets the hose out. You push it to that line. Like you said, Pat, that can affect the stream. I was always amazed at the people who put the nozzle on in full stride. Yeah. You know, not putting it on at the line. You know, they're Putting it on, you know, 100 feet out from the target. Yeah. I used to put it on at the line, but when I, when I lost a step or two, <laughs> I learned to do it down the track and get everything I could out of the start. You, you went to putting it on before you left the line. <laughs> yeah, we have a great film in the, in the tape that we dedicated to Harry Penny where Billy Davies is coming down running on, and he can't get it on. He's halfway down before he attempts. And the whole second half of the run, he's just trying, 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 can't get it, can't get it, can't get it. And just as the water comes out, he gets it on and hits the target. He didn't know he had it on or he hit the target. And Somebody had to tell him. 
And just think, how many steps do you lose concentrating on putting oh, yeah. the coupling together? Oh, for sure. All right, so here's North Lindy. They got to get back up on the horse. Three wins in a row, then they took that 1280 and B hose, and now trying a little reversal of fortune. And here they come. Chris Connell coming down the track. What are those? I was getting out pretty well. Third coupling. It's all about the target. Oh, and there's your target of the day. Lights it up. It's your target. Of the day. And if you see that stream, he just hit the corner, too. It just hit a little piece of the corner. Well, Three twenty. Nine for North Lindenhurst. 9.30. open. Yeah. 5.36 water through the hose. Next through the lights, number 16. Bandits. You think about it, those other teams hit the target like he hit it, they'd be in the same boat. 9 3 or so. Yeah, definitely the hit of the day right there. Farmerville win this drill. They need to top that 9 30. What'd they do last week? 9 0, I think? Um, in this contest, they were 9 1. 9 21. Uh, yeah, 9 21. They sure like that today. They got, yep. some, they got some good legs and wheels. Race all starts at the hydrant. The consistency between the hydrant man and the, the turn on person, and in this case, Amanda Coffee, taking care of things for Farmingville. She was on point last week, in point. Let's see if she can do it again. Nine points on the day for the Bandits. All right, and they step to the line. They're calling them off. And here they come. She's beating them. Perfect. Smoked. And here they go. Getting the hose out. Good through the third length. Woo! He has been goes. on that nozzle. Murdered it. They have scored. They're going to really love this one. Boy, I told you. Yeah, yeah. And look at all the fans. Yeah, the son. Look at all the fans for the Bandits. LVB giving it to you. Yes, yeah, son, for the Farmingville Bandits. Guyanese, Next right? the lights, number 18. <laughs> LGB. The West Sable Flying Dutchman. So Farmingville proving it was not a fluke last week. Coming back strong. He's stronger with the 9-1. 9, -1. 9 And I told you, they're going to kick themselves over that B.O.'s, boy. So we could analyze the two close shots here. Uh, they put the water on a little bit quicker than North Linehurst, and the third length was good, but the target it was yeah. max. Mm -hmm. Giving themselves an opportunity. West Sable Flying Dutchman. They have three points on the day, so they're going to need the big shot right here. It's funny how many fans you get when you start to do well, right? <laughs> There's a whole galley of people cheering on the bandits. Yeah, a lot of true. yellow bandit shirts. Oh, yeah. They're on the bandit wagon. <laughs> I got it. There comes another team that can put up some numbers. All right, here come the Dutchman. And water on. Mm -hmm. Good hydrant hit. Mm -hmm. Three, three, three. Water out. Ah. It's a low nine. It's not going to touch the band. It's oh, uh, I don't know if it's even going to touch North Lindy. Time for West Sayville. Ooh, just misses. North Lindy runs a 30, and boy, Farmanville needed a tweener, and they didn't get it. 325 open for the Dutch, 530 through the hose. Farmanville needs a tweener. I don't know if they know that. But they still are, you know, they're, they come Here's into the contest. Here's a team that can do it right now. Six down to the knocker, so beating them is good, but it's not good enough if you can't run some space in between. The fun part is they can both run the next two. Yep. Although North Lindy hasn't run it a whole lot with Vinny uh, Van Nozzleman. Been a little uh, and at this point, limp on the leg. I but think at this point, 
Farmingville is a better bucket team than Northland. You know, I, I'm going to have to agree with you. And I don't know if, if somebody just taped what I just said because I don't know if I ever thought I'd ever say yeah, that. Yeah, you said it. <laughs> it's true. Farmingville is a better bucket team and than nobody, Northland. And nobody's yeah. disagree, <laughs> disagree with you. Again, as <laughs> I said, a little more parity this year. So here come the snails. Could be that tweener that Farmingville's looking for. Let's All right. Joe DeRider calling them off. And here they come. Water on through the hose. Like a half a stick, though. Yeah, I thought he had yeah. it down. Third length. Gave up a little early, Kevin did. <laughs> <laughs> good target hit, but the water water through the hose was not as good. No, uh, not, not as uh, good. I thought Kevin gave up a little early, too, on the nozzle. Same thing. Three thirty-one on a stick, five eleven through the hose. It's always rough when you get that big target hit, and you're like, "Where did we lose it?" Because <laughs> you saved it with the target hit, right? And where five, did we lose it? Five eleven through the hose may be the best of the day. Had to be water on, right? Yeah. Farmingville was five oh something, but right there, okay. he's nice. Stick time was about a tenth difference. I don't think they had the hit. He's nice up in the mix. Seven points on the day. So 9.17 by Farmerville first, 9.30 Northlandy, 9.34 West Sable, 9.51 Copeg, and 9.61 Hagerman, that's what I have. A little bit of cleanup being done. And in a moment, we'll see East Islip. So East yeah. Islip getting ready to go. Yeah, this is a race, a little bit of time and effort, some good coaching. You should be able to put together pretty quick. As we said, this is their first tournament out. Let's see what they got. Okay, they have the course. Calling them off. And here they come. Hydraman out, oh. stick down. Water going through the hose pretty straight. Mm. Not the man set, target up. 357 open. Yeah, that's stick person a little behind. That'd be better. Yeah. Doesn't put them in the mix. So the Farmanville Bandits are going to win that contest, but North Lindy is going to get second. Third. West Sable Flying Dutchman. Fourth. Mm, uh, Copeg. Farmingville. And fifth. Hagerman. That's what I got. And Bandits first in efficiency back to back and belly to belly. Two to go. We'll give you a point rundown after they give you the official results. Yeah. Still North Lindy's to lose here. Going to be up five. But they're going to have to score in motor pump, like we said. Their bucket's a little bit off. Uh, the equipment. Try to figure it out. Here we go. Results. The efficiency competition. First place, five points. Number 16, Farmingville. Second place, four points. Number 15, North Lindenhurst. Third place, three points. Number 18, West Sayville. Fourth place, two points. Number eight, Copeg. Fifth place, one point. Number six, Hagerman. All right, there's your results for the efficiency contest. All right, so with two to go, I have North Lindenhurst with 19. Second place is Farmingville now with 14. Hagerman third with 12. Central Islip fourth with 10. And then we have East Islip with seven. So you have North Lindy and Farmingville in that position where you cannot give up a race now. Or the yeah. other team is Correct. either going to pull away completely right. or be right on top of you. 
you know, if, if Farmerville can pull out a five and pump, you know, th out of the three teams here that are the top three, so uh, 19, 14, 12, Farmerville could be the best in these last two contests if they can still run a five and pump. Right? Yeah, that's, sure. that's, that's something I want to see again. I mean, because uh, Farmerville is better than Hageman and North Lindy in buckets. But the spacing between the five points, that's why that B.O. shot by Farmerville was a killer. Killer. It was wide open in, in the worst contest of the day where you just had to really complete a clean shot. And then we have fighting for the uh, overall uh, total points for the day. Miller a Place has six. Kopeg has six. West Sable has six. Lindenhurst, four. And Central and Islip, four. So they're still in the mix to go down the track as well. They're trying to catch East Islip with seven. A lot of points spread around. Yep. Oh, you're all over the place. Very and don't have a point today. And very few teams without a point, right. right? Yeah. Which is always fun. Yes. Makes it interesting on both ways. Everybody scores and makes it tight at the top. So as the people are going to come around and get ready for pump, I was going to just say, you know, we could talk a little bit about what it was not having a state drill this year and some of the things we might have missed out on. And you don't have a state drill this year. And, and, and when you think about, obviously, the defending champion, Piston Knockers, as they're showing today after a couple of off weeks, would probably have been the team to beat, if you ask me. Islip, if they practice full-time, would have been in there. Um, who else? What am I missing here? We're stable a bit to start. Bayshore. Bay Bayshore, that's what, that's what I'm missing. Uh, Bayshore, I think, would have been in it. Um, and then uh, you've got to say Point Pleasant would have been in it. I mean, Definitely. the way Point Pleasant ran hoses, I was impressed the other day whether they take it away or not. Those were the things they needed to improve. They, yes. They sure did. Yep. And how many times, and I think I talked about this with a bunch of people up there, how many times when you get your ladder team and it's just going right, but then you can't get the host team right. And then you got the host team coming around and then the ladder team ain't going right. But when you can have all those four contests going right, things are, things are really. Look, going back in the day, that was my life with the flukes. We had the host team and we just struggled, struggled, struggled. And. After I moved, Patrick Cook came around and came of <laughs> age, and they had the ladder team. I was yeah. like, how about that? It was still pretty good in hoses, but. Uh, always hard. It's always hard to be able to, to put those four together. But the one thing that has become really obvious, I would say in the last, if you go to the drills over the last five years, especially since it's really tightened up, uh, I would say the first ten teams that can win the drill is the last three contests. I mean, sure. you have to always. be. I mean, it's always been you got to be able to run the last three, but there were some years you really didn't have to be able to run the last three. I mean, teams are running away with it before you ever got there. Isop had a great year. West Sable plenty of times. I'll, I'll go old school on, on us here. Um, in 1965, the Flukes won their first major motorized drill. It was the Hempstead drill, which did not have buckets, which was a blessing for them. <laughs> you know, at that time, did not have a bucket team. Uh, uh, Plainview Plainsman was chasing him for second place. And Plainview had a bucket team, so they were happy. And Hicksville was a seven-event drill before the rules changed, really? too. They didn't have three-man ladder. Why? And what was the reasoning? Who knows? Who knows? And they had, at one time, they were an eight-event drill. They had combination. Really? Which was just an event that, I, I'm sorry, went away, except yeah. for thank you in the town of Islip. Huh. But, again, it's all about buckets. It, you know? and, and, there, and, and to be truthful, there's nothing like winning it in buckets. Oh, everybody absolutely. participates. Everybody right. plays. And even pump, like, you know, I would say for many years, the amount of people that could run real good pump in a big pump spot was very few. And more and more teams are capable of doing it now, whether it's the equipment, the knowledge, the manpower, than have ever been able to run pump before. I mean, I hated pump. We couldn't run... We an eight if we had to a lot of years and be sure never mind try to run a six or god forbid a five we couldn't even run eight we we were looking up in the rules how how can we make replacement instead of pump like we proposed this at the membership meeting at the end of the year that's how bad it got but now pump's one of my favorite races i mean there's sure. so many people that can run it and, and I, run it well. I think changing it in you know the, the order of the contest i think that was a, a big thing too in taking making pump more significant you know uh, and it just made sense that's a great change that we saw uh, in the order in which we run the drills. Right. You know, Paul, if you guys weren't so bad in pump, we never would have got those Bart Simpson shirts out of you. So, I mean, it, that's true. That's, the, what, that's what we remember, Len? Hey, babe, pump this. <laughs> I do. I, 
I got one of those shirts right away. I like that. I have one. Man, that's some inside information I didn't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, you know, and, and going back to that, I, I'm reminded of the team that I looked up as a young race man was the Bayshore Redskins, and Pump was their Achilles heel. Oh. As good as they were, and, yep. man, they were really good. You know, and uh, it's, again, it's like they just didn't have it figured out, whether it was the pump, whether it was, yep. you know, the method, uh, you know, didn't have that yep. you know, lights-out nozzle man or what, but there were certainly were some good people there. And, and in all honesty, it wasn't something we, I mean, and I'm sure we're not the only team that can say this, it wasn't something that we spent a lot of time concentrating on. You know, and when you're a team, whether it's Redskin, somebody else, you know, we all love the speed events. You know, how can we get this better? How can we get this better? And, you know, and officially is what it is. It's eight guys, nine guys running down the track, and that's what it is. Mm -hmm. But pump, there's, you know, there's a combination of the men, because there's more manpower, plus the, the equipment has got to be good, and then the knowledge of it. And we never spent the time to try to put it together until more recently. And, and right, uh, right down the road was CI, who, to my knowledge, always had a good pump team. The, uh, so... Just, you know, it, it's funny. It's just that's something missing. And, you know, make a few changes and now you're a motor pump team. And state drills, it's been coming down to that, which has made it exciting and something we missed this year. You know, and, and I hate I hate it for the people like Hagerman or Farmerville that, you know, this is going to, this would have been, the, and I'm not saying it won't be next year, but this would have been a year maybe for their breakthrough, even if they didn't win, you know, at a state drill. It's, it's very hard to go from never and when I mean never, okay, Hagerman did it in the 60s or whatever, Farmville's a never, to winning. I don't know how many yes. people go from never to winning. Yes. Like first place. So for them to come in second, third, fourth, fifth, or, you know, God, maybe they do win. And the same thing with Point Pleasant. Uh, the same, it's the same thing. Like, there was an opportunity, the way they were running ladders and hoses, that, you know, Point Pleasant was going to be in it to win it. Sure. They came out of what? Not last year, perhaps the year before, they came away. Ladders. They had a ladder trophy for, yep. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're uh, winning the drill. They're the point leader. But who wants water? And, uh, and and again, I think in that same drill, in the state drill coming out of ladders, um, old Henry's were a, right. a point leader. Right. But it just, it, it always makes for an in interesting day. You know, there's eight events and there's twists and turns and that's what makes this the best. All right, we're still do set setting the course up for Motor Pump. Yep. Teams are out there, but we're not ready. It was a beautiful day for racing. And they got the hydrant changed over and just filled up a hose so they can wet the track down by the nozzle line so it's the same and fair for everybody. And then we'll be off and running. Oh, being a rules committee guy, does the rules say that you have to wet the area? Yes. That area? Well, I don't know if they're written over there. Right. It's behind 50, the nozzle 50, line. 50 feet behind the nozzle yeah. line. Yeah. Yeah. Know? I don't know about that area. There, it does say wet by the nozzle line. Right. But what good is that? Nobody yeah. gets to that nozzle line and no. pump. No. Nope. <laughs> I mean, they're doing the right thing. Philosophically, I think for how you run, but you're right. Yeah, that double white line being a nozzle man is or a nozzle line is uh historic rule there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get there, you got some real big issues. Well, you know, it's a hundred feet from the hydrant and uh <laughs> that's what it's based on, the length of the hose. Yes. The closest anybody gets is forty feet from it. I made the attempt at Patchogue running nozzle one time to go all the way. <laughs> but Did uh, you have a broken pump? I mean I've seen guys do that nope, when the pump was I, broken. I I I was full speed with the nozzle and I cross where I'm supposed to go down and I said to myself I think I just ran past the nozzle where I'm supposed to go down but I kept running and I said to my I knew I was wrong I don't know if the lines were different there whatever and I'm running and the hose just got yanked out of my hand mm -hmm. and I ran all the way back <laughs> to the camp <laughs> same thing 80 state tournament uh, in motor pump contest we go out and I am I'm going I got to bury the line and then that's what's in my mind Either somebody stepped on, I got shorted. Somebody stepped on a hose or what, and I went head first over. And as I'm rolling, I'm looking down the barrel of the nozzle. Mm. And I was like, like get out of here, yeah. get out of here. That's a bad feeling. I, I, so the, another roll, and I was away from the nozzle, and I made my backup man the, the best pump shot he's ever had. <laughs> <laughs> and he was, he, was, he was like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> but uh, fortunately, we had a rerun yeah. out of that, and we lived to play that again. 
it's funny though, you know, in motor pump, people don't realize that, you know, you don't want to be in front of the nozzle, but being behind the nozzle is probably worse because that pressure pulls that nozzle back. I always say, if I'm losing this thing, I'm going out that way, the front yep. to the right or the left. It's, and I, the guys behind you, they're taking the front. Hey, guys, just quick, to steal the show here. Miller Place Extinguishers, uh, first place in B.O.'s. I have Justin, their breaker here. Justin, five big points, uh, first place Extinguishers. Tell us about it. Yeah, it's good. We've been practicing a lot every twice Hold on, weekend Lee. out there, so it's good to you know, put up a nice number and get a nice clean shot. So from what I hear, that's the uh, the first big fiver for the Extinguishers in Motorized. Yeah, yeah, first first place uh, run in Motorized, so it's good. It's a good stepping stone, and we're hoping to throw up some more. we we'll give a shout-out to the Chiefs or the Commissioners or anybody? Yeah, shout out to you know, the Board of Fire Commissioners help us with everything. The Chiefs are great, very supportive. So thanks for all them. I guess we'll tell those guys, order up the pizza and the beer. They're on their way home soon. <laughs> thanks, Justin. Good catch, Vinny. Lanny. Anyway, yeah, the, close. the Wolves have you pulled close, up to man. the line. Well, I'm... What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, we'll put our technician on it. But as we speak... The uh, Iceland Bulls are pulling up to the line, and they will get the course in a moment. Yeah, four points on the day for the Bulls. They didn't run a um, ladder today. Barely practiced hose before coming in. They were iffy about running this one. But they again, still have a chance at top five. And the knowledge is there. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah, it's pretty much the usual guys. And this is a this, this team runs a five and pump. I'm always excited for pump at this track and everything. This is a a fun run. So here they come. Yep, at the hydrant. And he's got water in. Ah, uh, target smasher lays it down perfectly. Just a little bit right, boy. You can see the wind cutting that yeah. that the, the water, yeah. right? Oh high too. The stream up. 172 high open. For Iceland. Six point one zero six. 469 water out, 610 overall for the Wolves. And then he did not smash that target no, at all. No, I mean, not at all. Between the stream being cut by the wind and being low right, bringing it back. So if that's a signal of things to come, that's a 610. Oh, yeah, you were talking solid 5, 5, five 7 if he hits it. Number two. There. All Next right. The lights number four, the Central Islip Hobos. Hobos double digits, 10 points on the day. They've had them for a while, but that's another team that can run this race. Yeah, Hobos asked me earlier to give a shout out to Hobo Nation. Could not attend today, but. Always a lot of support from the CI fans. Give one more shout out to Debbie Casse and her family down in St. Augustine, Florida, listening in. So Largo Lou is listening in. Hobo's going through an extensive hand the, slapping. About to say a little hand job. Yeah, their uh, pre-race hand slaps are second to none. Looks like we're about ready to go. Turn on man actually standing in the grass right now oh, before yeah. he gets on the truck. Tight to the curb, but this hydrant step. is set off pretty yeah, well. Yeah, it's the this course is, line. You got to run it right there for motor pump. And there were times the officials set up the clocks up on the line and we yeah. had to have them move it back get even with the hydrant. Here come the hobos. Nice little pace heading for the hydrant. They're off. And bang, bang. Scott Letizia, one run. Woo, not a bad hit. Tell you what, he lined up and it looked like he was going to shoot a little bit low right. But got it back. Six. Ooh, right there Six with the 12. Wolves. Right there. What do we got on the numbers? Water out, 499. And one, 170. 
stick down. Yeah, that stick went down a little slow. I was just talking with some more guys down here, Pat. He, just, he had it, but it just he didn't really jam it down. Yeah, that's not the CI way, right? CI I, don't know really if, I don't know if it was a momentum issue. Sometimes your, your body's going the other way. A, 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 a 1749. If you were making me guess who it was, I would never guess it was CI. Yes. Yeah. I'd, 481 I had, but yeah, right, right around there. You're right, such a good pump track here. It's great race to watch. All right, two teams. Two teams run 6 10, 6 12. We have an 11 in us right there. Tweener. I think the slow pokes would like that. They'd love it. Pizza. Back in Selden. What do you think Selden's best race is? Like, you think of a team, like, oh, man, they're just really good in behoves. Or, you know, they're really good in buckets. I Pump? Behoves? I would have to look to say, you know... I'm seeing the, I'm s I like that information. So they run a 12 last year in Seahose. But I don't know if I think about, oh, my God, you know, oh, so, oh yeah, the Seahose is their run. I don't know. My point is they should, they, the, the slow folks need to figure out what it is. Look at us. And you know what? You build on that. I always, when we were, we would always figure out what's our best race or two. Let's build on those. Let's score in those. Mm -hmm. Let's practice them more. <laughs> Push. So here they come. They're across the timeline. There we go. Water, water we go. on. He's got water in the on the hose. Oh, he leans up around the nozzle. <laughs> he Tough time finding it. the target. Yeah. He, yeah. He needs Paul. I was oh. ready to to jump up on the uh, retaining wall here. I thought it was coming this way. That's very dangerous for nozzle man. I don't know how he held it on his side like that. Was the water out? Time for Selden. I wasn't worried about pushing a button. I was worried about running. <laughs> I missed it. Water out 645. Oh. The, the stick turn on was 218. Uh, I tell you what, I thought the water jumped from the hydrant out the side of the truck there. But that nozzle man's got to get that set up right. He was creeping in and just didn't have his balance. And he, then he leans over the hose and then it's pushing it off instead of lining it up. Well, he started out kneeling on it. Yeah. Literally on it. All right. So that's 427 valve out to water out going through the truck. That's not good. Really, yeah. Got to get that looked at. For those that haven't run the position, you want to you wanna put your knee down but kind of have that hose going under your shin. Yeah. You do not want to be on it. You want to be on the ground. I mean, you're looking at a resurgence. And they, they got guys from Kutchog on the team. And Kutchog's been a good bump team, you know, lots of years. Next to the lights is number six. Hagerman Gamblers. You got to, you know, just you got to pick a race or a couple races, and you got to say, hey, we're going to work on these races. We're going to get good at these. Has to start somewhere. Well, you know, and they have a lot of guys compared to what I've seen in the past because they've yeah. combined. You know, you talk about picking one race and getting good at it over the years. Here's Hagerman Gamblers. That might be the race they started with a couple of years ago, right. Paul. Right. And they are killing it now in motor pump. Talk about killing it. They run a 566 in Point Pleasant last week. In we, a really good pump contest, because 585 was second. Yeah, we were treated to four fives out of seven teams up there. Which that was, was impressive. Really, really fun to watch, and it affected the, the the final top five. So, the Hagerman history that I'm aware of, they were a good ground team, going back in uh, in late 60s. But w when I began racing, they were the pump team, and that's two B trucks ago. Or two. Yeah. They've had they've had three B trucks in the last three years. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking in the '80s they they were a pretty good pump team. They were. They really were. They could run some behoves. They could they can run pump. Yep. But if you go back to those 1960s, I believe they came in the top five that year at the state drill. They owned, they didn't even have trucks. They ran three running races, right? I think they scored nine points or 11. Came in the top five at the state drill. Here they come. At the hydrant. Whoa. Oh, yeah. He hits it. Oh, he's just a little bit sideways with the nozzle. And there they go. And he shut he it down. He was sliding from the start, guys. He overran it just a little bit. None of the guys behind him were on the hose right. Just kind of came up an eyelash short on them, I guess. Nobody got in position. 
You think he ran a little far on that? I don't think so, Paul. He was. Did he he, was he at never the buried line. the line. Yeah. No, I just, I just, they didn't get set. Uh, what did you get a water on? I had sixty-two. Four fifty-nine water out. So if he hits it, that's a solid five. Oh yeah. Their hydrant play is really good. I mean, there he's waiting with the stick, and before he's even clicked on that suction, he's got that stick down. So Hageman's going to stick around with 12. It's not going to be their day as they're going to be mathematically eliminated unless somebody Excellent. can come in and run over the hydrant. He's talking about throwing the stick and catching water. Yeah. On, on our group uh, was a uh, slow motion of of Lindenhurst up at Point Pleasant, right. and he caught water. He pushed over 12, 18 inches worth of water coming out of the hydrant. I think they try to do it all the time, Lindenhurst. You know, Lindenhurst had that conversation last week, and I don't know if it's changed since then. They weren't in the best of moods, but they were talking about how they they need a new pump, that they're not going to compete with the pump they have in their truck. Uh -huh. They want a 500 or whatever it is. They don't have anything near that or something. I didn't know the particulars. I just know that they were really upset, and the team had voted that they're going to get a new pump. And they run decent pump now. Uh huh. Yeah, just talking about guys scooping at the hydrant. It seems like we see it more and more. I'd love to see a highlight reel of some video of all the teams that do that. Really fun to watch. Okay, Copa Gilbert is one point out of a top five overall. See what they can do. Six ten, six twelve. That's in the, that's in their realm. They can go there. Oh, uh, miss on the hydrant. Complete the shot. See two guys behind the nozzle man laying across the hose rather than along it. They listen back to this. They may want to get their full bodies on there. Yep. Really hold it down. There's a change from, you know, 70s that rarely did any team have two guys on the back, on the hose. Maybe one big guy behind the nozzle man and the next man was standing up, pushing down on the. And where was the other guy? The third, third man was off the back of the truck behind the nozzle man. He had the hose in his hand, sticking it to the ground. You think it's just the pumps are stronger, Pat? And oh yeah. yeah. I mean, it, there, were, there were 250s and 350s and now, if you don't have a 500, yeah. you're, you're nowhere. Yeah. And I yeah, think that's Leonard Hurst's deal. Exactly. They don't have a 500. And we, I, we didn't get better until we got one. So that was, that was a huge part of that. <laughs> I like these teams that change Extra the pumps depending on the track nine, they run. The Miller Place <laughs> Extinguishers. All right, Miller Place also six points. Opportunity for the Extinguishers. And if I'm not, in, if I'm not mistaken, this is the first contest that they scored. Yeah, in a you're probably right. major motorized, perhaps the county. Was it? I thought it was either that or here. One, they did something here the first also. I don't know. So they've been given the, the track, and they're getting ready to run. As the wind blows across, mm. right. All right, here they come. They are through the lights. Water on at the hydrant, slammed it, and out. And he's high. Yeah, he just brought it up a little too quick, Pat, and it was more of a spray. Wasn't enough of a stream as he brought it up. Nice little run going. He was really aggressive at the hydrant. You see that, but Safety overtime for I one. think as soon as he set up, he was pointed a little bit right. Once, two, five, 30 water out. You so broke up a little bit. What did you have? Uh, 172 stick, 530 water out. So if he hits it, maybe around 6'5". Just a little too quick. You got to give that water pressure a chance to hit that flap. Sorry. 
Well, their day is not done, you know, with two contests left. Yep. All right, next up is going to be the Piston Knockers. 585 list. Sort of lights number 15, the North Lindenhurst Piston Knockers. And this drill is down to the Knockers and the Bandits. If the Knockers can knock it down here, and 610, 612 is all on the board, uh, they would solidify first place overall. The only people that can touch them at this point are the team right behind them in blue, with the blue truck, yellow jerseys, the Bandits. How many years has it been almost pretty consistent that if you don't have yellow a part of your jersey, <laughs> See, I, I, you're in I, trouble? I, I was always white pants. I was always, it was, <laughs> in 1980, we were wearing blue pants with a yellow stripe on them. It's like, I, I Paul, think we need counting, white pants. Maybe. Are you counting the feather in the, in the red skin as yellow? <laughs> no, the red skins buck the system. Yeah. There might be a little yellow in that patch. Yeah, but you can't count that. Yellow Hornets broke the white pants streak, too. Oh, yeah, they had the red, right? Yes. All right, knock us. Here they come. Through the timing light. Water on. Vinny Bogart out. Target. You, you watch how he goes down with the nozzle. Yeah. It's so textbook. Yep, they've been saving Vinny just for that. That's a real low six, maybe a five. One sixty two open, four seventy two water out, five ninety seven overall for the knockers. And as excited, that should lock the drill. Yeah, as excited they are, the, the hearts sank in the team with the blue beach truck coming to the line, knowing that the opportunity pretty much for them to win the drill has left the building. But, but now now for the second week in a row, a top two finish. They gotta they gotta get it done right here. They're two points up on Hagerman, four points up on the Hobos, and the well, Hobos ran a 6-12. Now, Paul, if they if they somehow run another five here, well, they'll only be four down going into buckets. Well, there you go. So they And last to, week, let me finish, last well, week they put up the first place right, time, right. and North Lindy couldn't score. Yeah, I, 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 you're right. So, so they have to beat the 97. Correct. All right. I, I like that better than my, uh, it could my happen. forecast. No, I like it better than my forecast. So they have to be on the line saying, go for it. <laughs> saying, oh, no, we're on a breakdown because our hood is up. That's what they're saying. Oh, that's not a good sign. They are on a breakdown. Next through the lights, number 16, the Farming Bill Bandits. So this is going to. Well, I hope they get this straightened out. Me too. Yeah. I wanted to see it. 20 minute breakdown. Yeah, they're calling their mechanic Your attention, down. Attention, please. Farming Bill is on a 20 minute breakdown. That's going to pull up the West Sable Flying Dutchman. Well, Billy Cornell's the most upset right now. Anybody that was going to go to his party after this would be delayed. <laughs> More food for him, though. Young man sprinting across the course towards <laughs> the Farmingville B truck. He's the missing part, right? He I was know. moving. I couldn't see if he had anything in his hands, but came flying across. When you send your fastest guy to go get something, you better make sure that he knows what he's supposed yeah, to get. Right. <laughs> no. Left-handed widget. <laughs> so the West Sale Flying Dutchman tucking in behind the band, well, tucking in front of the bandits, making their way to the start line. West Sable has six on the day, another one of those teams, so somebody's got to separate themselves. How many points they got, Paul? Six. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of guys leaving the Farmerville truck now. I want to get something else. You know, at one point I thought that was a contest. It was opening the hood and staring <laughs> at the engine. It's, uh, we were really good at that. Uh, yeah, not a contest you want to be good at. White flag given to the Dutchman at the starting line.
All right, so this should be another team that can put up a pump shot. They sure can. 597, 610, 612. Rolling in. Timer's ready. Hydrant oh. on, but a wash. Set yeah. the hydrant. Through the stick, and he wasn't clean on it. Target up to complete the run. 171 on a miss. Time for West Sable. 9.10. Not what they wanted as the <laughs> Lindenhurst snails make their way. You talked about catching some water. Here's the team. Lindenhurst. Christian Brody on a hydrant for the snails. Won me a dollar last week. Mm. Putting the snails time up there. I think it was 627, Paul. 620. 620. Yeah. And he that came in fifth place. 620, yeah. And they they were upset because they saw those fives on the board and they said, hey, well, something we're missing something here. Yep. Next through the lights, number 19, the Lindenhurst Snails. So I won that dollar from the birthday boy because he was shooting his mouth off the night before, picking on Robert Cazetto, the nozzle man here for the Snails. So I, I laid down a bet and took his money very happily, told him they would run at least a 630. So. Paul, there's Billy breaking our chops that we're not at his party today. You know, we're at a drill. He knows. He's a racing guy. That's he it. knows us. That's it. I mean, who throws a birthday party for themselves? What grown man does that? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, my wife's birthday's in July. I've never missed her birthday. Or I have missed her birthday for a tournament. I've never made it right. if there was a tournament or even practice. And this guy wants me to miss a drill? Not happening. You have a great wife. Yes, I yeah, do, too. Yes, I do. <laughs> Track is getting cleaned up for the snails. Yep. As. You see Rob Cazetto standing at the starting line. Every time I see Billy, you know, every time I see Billy, I think it's his birthday. <laughs> he he celebrates. celebrates like it, yeah. He wears his birthday suit quite oh, often. Oh, that, that for sure. If you I, know, I've never seen an adaptive man wear a helmet before, you know, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, full shield. You know, it's slippery down there. Takes a little practice look at it. Now it's going to be good. It's cool doing it, as long as you look good, Pat. Through. And the adapter man goes back and picks up his hard suction. He's the hydro man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, that's Christian Brody. Looks like uh, Whammo run a turn on. After all that, though, you got to get it on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can catch a little water here. 597, 610, 612. Then there is also an 847 and a 903. Farmerville. Snails have been given the white flag. Farmerville looming back there, still with a hood up. Yeah, East Islip in between them. Here come the snails. Through the lights, water it again. on. It did it again. Water out. Oh, oh, and a break Ooh, in the hose. hose. The hose, I, I don't know if the hose rips. No. Maybe you can see it rips, later or yeah, pulls out of the coupling. Rips out of the coupling. Pulls yeah. right out of the coupling. Everybody's okay. Bad break. They had a little something going on. 461 yeah. water out. You Don Skippy, they had something going on. So, folks, uh, it's a special tool that puts the hose inside of a coupling and expands a ring, and that's what holds it. Well, that let go just as the back pressure hit the tip of the nozzle. So it'll be a no time for Lyndon Harris to complete feeling. the contest. Oh, it's the worst. That's happened to me. As long as it's not the coupling. Yeah, well, yeah, that's that's right, yeah. Right. I mean, that'll, sometimes that'll hurt. That could, yeah, that could hurt somebody, and it looks like they're all okay. Yeah. Instant enema doesn't work too well either. <laughs> 139 open. Shit's bad. 461 <laughs> order out. Wow. I had confirmation behind me, some other guys with the same numbers. So you get in the one threes on the stick and pump, you're, you're getting it done. Yeah. That was legit. Next to the lights is number 20, the East Islip Guzzler. Cazetto's, Cazetto's checking out his leg now with a nozzle slid up. I don't see any blood. You all right? 
You got. Yeah, he's okay. You got to, you know, go see the guy who puts that together. <laughs> I mean, I put together ours for a lot of years, and boy, you'd always pump a little extra, especially motor pump. You really wanted those things. Yeah, I think we used to put a double ring in there, Paul, <laughs> just to, to really hold yeah. it. I mean, because you want to pump it up so much. And then we started to have those. We were using those uh, redhead couplings. I don't know if you ever used them. They were like a, a polymer or a plastic, but they, yeah. they would crack or break yeah. more it, than the metal. Yeah. All of a sudden, you're pumping the, yeah. uh, the tool and snap. And it's a pain in the ass enough getting it in the pump hose, the, the whole ring and the whole situation set up. It is a process, and it, it, it takes some practice to get it right. And, and success and failure as well, pumping it up too much again, cracking a coupling. Come to Guzzlers. Guzzlers sitting here with seven. They're currently in fifth. They can improve their lot in the drill right here. Hydrant, water on. Kind of gets slow on the stick down. Nozzle down. Hey, hey, that's a nice good target hit. hit. Guzzlers. It's a real low six. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to beat the 10 and the 12, but I don't think so. All right, but it's going to help them for top five. Stick went down a little slow when he got there, 186, five flat water out. I think they were being very deliberate. They saw the numbers on the board. Yeah. And you know what? We can go down the track here. Look at minutes. when these guys come by you. You see Jay in the driver's seat. Tommy sitting next to him yeah. to put it in a pump. He looks like it's his son. He's sitting so low. He's getting <laughs> out now. <laughs> but I, like I Jay's got his little kid with him. I don't think they have a seat in there. No. Right? He's sitting I don't know on what he's sitting on. on Milk crate or something. Yeah. It looks like Jay had his son with him. <laughs> it's too cute. So now we're just waiting on the Farmer Bill Bandit. 12 minutes, they said, left on the breakdown. This race right now has North Lindy... In first, but as you said, Lenny, it's not over because if Farmerville can beat the 97, we're going to go down to buckets. But then again, Farmerville's going to get on the track. Yeah, that's a big if right well, now. they got a couple guys sitting down down there now, and they're relying on somebody else to fix something. I mean, what could it be? It's motor pump. You're not going that fast. We've run motor pump without brakes. We ran motor pump without a rear end. <laughs> I think you've ran motor pump without a pump one time, too. <laughs> I was right? going to say, <laughs> yeah. Teams have done it without a pump. Hey, in the times I ran, we've run without a Hydra Man or a Nozzle Man sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> look at Mata. And the guzzlers give a look up to the uh, us up here on top of the arch. <laughs> Old sandbag running the nozzle right there. Hard to do. Yeah, for buckets. Well, we might still have one more pump, Chris, so I'm going to sit tight. I'm going to take a mosey down there, see if I yeah, can find out from I the bin. It's what's got up. some people standing up. I don't know if they're standing up to walk away or this. And I do see somebody under the truck. Yeah. So they're Waiting under the truck on the front end. 50, 50 going around. This is your last call. You can run without water in a radiator if you want to <laughs> do that, you know. Uh, is that 50-50 up on the arch right now, guys? No. Okay. You going to put in the Burton Ernie money? I am. <laughs> Ernie needs a new rubber ducky. Yeah, he does. <laughs> He's crying with... Nobody loves me. <laughs> Ready to go. Mike Heller fully, fully geared out in his knee pads. If you were looking for knee yep. pads for B ladder, you, Mike Heller has. <laughs> I don't know. It looked like he was going to run pump nozzle. He had so much <laughs> gear did. with him, but he really did. Mike so Heller is a f photographer extraordinaire. So the official word on Farmingville Bandit's B truck is the starter is gone. Oh, well, that's a problem. That's so rough. I don't know if they're beating on it or I don't think they have a spare one to just throw it in there that quick. No. Bypass it. I just heard him try to turn it, and it did not sound pretty. This is where, back in the day, having a manual transmission helped. That's more than once, dead battery, bad starter. You could jump start it. Can't do that. Automatic. Oh, brother. What a shame. What a shame. You know, what can you do but turn it into motivation? Mm. That, you know, we had this one taken away from us. You come back next week, same place, same time, and do it up. Yeah, it's, that's what they said. Sort of. But they're not giving up. They're still under the truck. Yeah. They're going to use all of their allotted breakdown time. 
Miracles have happened. And he's going home. I'm going to get my 50 50s. I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody should lock the gate. You know, I'll, I'll bring it up. I had just said, you know, hoping that they can get this thing started and run and said miracles can happen. And uh, you gave the call on probably one of the best miracles uh, I've ever seen. True story. <laughs> yeah. That's a miracle. Two years ago at the state tournament, Bayshore, not even knowing if their pump was going to operate, yep. came down and laid down a shot. And it's like, it worked. It worked. Yeah. Great. That was a moment. It was the right moment at the right time. Really was the fact that Harry Penny was there and the whole thing we did with Harry. That's it was meant to be. Mm -hmm. I really believe that. Nobody deserved it more than Harry. You bet. Just. So a little under seven minutes left. Dean Wick's a little pissed off about the question. <laughs> well, that's still working under there. And you think about Harry Penny, well, how many years he transcended through the sport and as somebody that, you know, starts out obviously as just a good racing guy and those type of things all through the transition to driving and, you know, seven early 70s state records. You know, left and right, and then different things going on, and just sticking with it, and transitioning new personnel. I mean, sons of guys who ran up, on right. that '70s team right. start to run. Right. Uh, Harry active in the state uh, rules committee and executive board. Yeah, he always one of the best ran ran the elections every time. That was entertaining. Not yep. only uh, always entertaining. Yeah, but you know what? You know that's what most people know him for. I love to go back and look that my man won individual ladder in the Islip Town tournament one year, one year. He beat some of the best that were out there, mm -hmm. you know. So it's like, yeah, you forget that. You forget. Yeah. You forget that he was a good climber, right. you know. He, he, uh, you know, he larger than life personality. Yeah, no doubt about that. Everybody, everybody stopped and watched when he was driving. Mm -hmm. You know, pull up to the line, the hat turned backwards, and <laughs> here we go. Uh, just the, you know, it, it's, it's, I feel as it, I don't know if the privilege is the right word, but the opportunity that I've had to spend so much time with him, you know, throughout every summer, basically of my entire life, uh, fortunate enough to, and you know, it wasn't always easy, <laughs> and it, as none of, neither one of us are probably easy, but not that we didn't get a we got a spectacular, I, I couldn't be prouder of our relationship ever, but. It was a lot of fun and a lot of laughs just sitting us, you know, with us. You know, people don't even realize it. Oof, yeah, well, the, the, the uh, Harry film documents that pretty well. I love yeah. that. And that one will never die. That's been preserved, so that's a good thing. Yep, yep. The, uh, you know, and, and, and I'm just sitting here thinking that, you know, your father ran with Harry. Mm -hmm. Your father probably jumped with Harry when he uh -huh. drove. Yep. And his son jumped with Harry. Yep. So, you know, that's... Uh, Pretty crazy. Very crazy. I oh, by chance he's listening, and I hope he hears this. And me too. Yeah. I, I Harry runs with uh, Ray Boucher Sr., who Danny Boucher ends up to be our climber. So it's, he's running with his grandfather. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and that's... Pretty unusual. That's a third generation, yep. right? Yep. We, uh, I, think I think Ray Senior was on his way out when Harry comes in, obviously, and racing uh -huh. years before that. And uh, Danny, Danny comes in towards the end, but still. And not only what he uh, what he gave to racing, he also served our country, Navy man. Yep. Uh, he wouldn't let you forget that. Loves to talk about Navy. I uh, heard all the stories, you know. Uh, Changing the light bulb on the mast. The only <laughs> one. The only one who was crazy enough to climb out there. <laughs> no. Yeah, the stories have no end. No, they should live on forever. Uh, they do. I just wish I could remember 
a tenth of the ones <laughs> that were going on. You know, I wish I would have wrote them down or stuff like that. It's just you remember some of the big ones, but there's so you know, and and a, and a great representative of the Bayshore Fire Department. I say this all the time. You go throughout New York State, you know, and I feel like I can put a positive on you know the Bayshore Fire Department. That's what we do. You know, we see people from other fire departments. And Harry is like one of the ultimate representatives. People all over New York State knew Harry Penny, and he represented the Bayshore Fire Department, you know, incredibly well. And you might have touched on the most unappreciated part of racing is how you represent your department mm -hmm. to other departments throughout the entire state. I agree. Yeah. It's important. It's always, it was always important to us. And then you look, you know, we're looking down on the track right here, and, you know, somebody you know beyond well is Kevin Connell. And I say the same thing I said about Harry, except Kevin actually took it to another level. I mean, when Scott Wright uh, and, you know, we're 18, 19, and then North Lindy starts practicing with us at Bayshore, you know, we're practicing on a Tuesday, or you know, we're practicing on a Monday, and then we're going out. You now we're getting home. I don't know. I always say, I don't know, did any of us have jobs? <laughs> because, and then we practice Wednesday, and we go out. But Kevin was always there. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 it was unbelievable. And, and once again, fortunate enough to spend some, you know, time with someone else, not just Harry Penny, but like Kevin Connell, who, in my eyes, is, you know, very similar in the vein of Harry Penny across New York State, et cetera. And, and, a, and a second generation fireman who's his son, third generation fireman, present chief of North Linderhurst, is a fine racing man, and over in the stands is Kevin's son, and I would bet dollars to donuts that he'll be racing someday. Mm -hmm. So, and that, that, that's a rarity, too, is the fourth generation. We looked for that. It's really hard to find. I don't, I don't think I can recall one that we've yeah. ever found. Yeah, there's almost so, only so well, much time. Yeah. Yeah, you, you talk about, you know, Kevin and all he's done, Paul. I mean, he went to your brother's bachelor party, and your brother was marrying his daughter. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you talk about hanging out with the young guys. I, <laughs> I mean, he, he was just, it was so funny. We, we laugh about it all the time. Just, you know, what do, how did we do that? I mean, <laughs> you, uh, you probably know, we, we would play basketball all winter long, and we would play, whether we played in, in Hem with Hempstead or we played at CI or they would come to North Lindenhurst or somebody did Bayshore a couple times with Sable, and we'd rotate around, and we would sit there till 3 in the morning drinking after we played basketball. And, and, and it's funny, basketball was the thing that nurtured my relationship with them. I always loved them racing, but I started playing basketball with them. I saw them, right. you know, 52 weeks a year. Exactly. You know, and, and the organizing games and playing against uh, uh, other Attention, teams. Please. You know, the 20 minute time limit on the Farmingville breakdown has expired. Ouch. Yeah, Sorry to hear. Bandits, so that's Sorry to hear. They weren't able to get the truck fixed within the time, and the contest has now ended. That will give the drill to the knockers. Yeah, they're going to end up with five Have points the there. Four points is going to go to Iceland. Isop's going to be shooting for the top five. Three points to CI. They're in it. That'll give them 13, huh? Yep. Two yeah. points goes to East Islip. And scoring with an 847. Miller Place? No. Kopeg. Yellowbirds, right? Kopeg. Yes, Kopeg scores with it. They go to seven, so... With one contest left, we'll give you the rundown. Keep Mike, keep Mike. Okay, so one contest, North Lenny hit, wins this drill. Second place right now is Farm and Villa with 14, then CI 13. Fourth place with 12 is Hagerman. And fifth place with nine is going to be East Islip. Results. Islip A has eight. Competition. First place, Cope five eight, seven, points, Miller place 15, six. North Lindenhurst. And West Sable. Second place, four points, number three, Iceland. Third place, three points, number four, Central Iceland. Fourth place, two points, number 20, East Iceland. Fifth place, one point, number eight, Copenhagen. Yeah, sure, that'll be fine. We're yeah, but we got to move some of the stuff around. All right, we'll be back. Chris, Chris, just quick, how is this camera now? points going into buckets. Islip, 8. Central Islip, 13. Hagerman, 12. Kopeg, 7. 
Attention firefighters, are you still tracking your SCBA cylinders using paper and pencil? Stop the insanity and get the CAT cylinder accountability tag system from Postal Fire Systems. The CAT makes refilling cylinders simple and easy, ensuring that your members never overfill a cylinder or fill one with an expired hydrostatic testing. Let the CAT system handle the wrecking keeping, inventory, alerts, and OSHA paperwork for you. There's only one place you can get the CAT system, and that's Coastal Fire Systems. Head to www.coastalfiresystems.com for details and information. Fatty McGee's in East Islip. Wednesday is ladies' night at the best FD racing bar in Long Island. Stop in anytime for a drink with good company, a great lunch and dinner menu, and of course, those famous Fatty's Wings. The 2020 Fire Rescue and EMS Mega Show takes place February 15th and 16th at the Brentwood Sports Fieldhouse at Suffolk Community College. Check out the latest, most up-to-date turnout gear, thermal cameras, apparatus, and more. Hundreds of vendors will be present to explain and demonstrate their product lines and services along the extrication competition. See you next February in Brentwood at the Mega Show. The Bill Fox Company has been in business over 65 years, specializing in custom championship rings, watches, badges, pins, and awards. The Bill Fox Company has crafted championship rings for the past state champions, including the Westerners, Flying Dutchman, Hobos, Wolves, and Yellow Hornets, as well as the Firefighter Combat Challenge Competition. Bill Fox Company is the recognizing name and recognizing people. Check them out on Facebook, Twitter, and on the web at www.billfoxco.com. Since 1973, Fire News has been a proud supporter of the time-honored tradition of New York State Drill Team Racing. As they approach 50 years covering the fire service Chris, throughout New York and beyond, Fire News is honored to continue as the official publication online coverage of New York State Drill Teams. Look for ongoing coverage in Fire News on firenews.com and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The Titan Group is the trusted name in apparel customization industry as a one-stop shop for all your drill team and department needs. As always, we offer all our in-house services, screen printing, embroidery, sublimation, and graphic design. Take advantage of our custom online ordering system. Simply choose your products, choose your logos, and have your members pay online. All your orders are separated upon delivery. Browse our vendor catalogs at www.titangroupapparel.com and follow us on Instagram at Titan Group Racing. Call us at 631-859-0. 075 or see Artie Seskine or Devin Robinson on a track. All eight, all day, gear up, get on the Titan Group. Rosenbauer Fire Apparatus is proud to be named as the exclusive fire apparatus manufacturer of New York State drill teams. Rosenbauer is the number one manufacturer of fire trucks on the planet and the industry leader in the next generation of reliable safety evolutions like the Smart Aerial Control System. If your department is considering an apparatus purchase, start the conversation with the local team at Eagle Fire Equipment and ensure top-notch service with their partners at Nassau Fire Apparatus. Call area code 855-222-1075 or like them on Facebook. Integrated Wireless Technologies is proud to be part of the New York State Drill Team family as the exclusive Motorola deal for New York State Drill Teams. IWT is the Motorola manufacturer's representative and offers the full line of Motorola products to fire department as well as David Clark headsets and sound off signal emergency lights. IWT is your one-stop shop for custom engineered radio solutions, licensing assistance, dispatch solutions, and top-notch reliable service with fully insured technicians. Start your next radio upgrade with IWT Check out their website at www.goiwt.com. With over 25 years of service in the fire industry, High Tech Fire and Safety continues to be a proud sponsor of New York State Drill Teams. High Tech has been honored to serve as master distributor for Morning Pride products, including state-of-the-art bunker gear, USAR gear, EMS gear, helmets, gloves, hoods, and boots. In addition to Morning Pride gear by Honeywell, High Tech also provides quality products, including ISG thermal imaging cameras and CMC rescue products and Deuce Rescue Systems, providing your fire department with the highest level of support and service for all your personal protection equipment needs. For personalized demos, speak to a certified sales specialist. Call 631-777-5170 or visit hightechfirenewyork.com. Not every evolution in vehicle rescue technology costs tens of thousands of dollars. The Beluga glass cutter finally makes windshield removal Everybody quick and safe, 50, and fire 50 departments 50 can add the Beluga glass cutting kit to their rescue setup for only $5.95. Head to www.coastalfiresystems.com to check out the Beluga in action. Coastal Fire Systems is the official SCBA dealer for New York State drill teams. Scott Air Packs, Cylinders, RAT Packs. Red ticket, zero six zero three two five. The winner will be getting 
$360-325. Please see Nicole down at the bottom of the arch, 060-325. All right, I got you, Chris. All right, so we are back live. Hagerman Training Facility. Again, we've said it a few times. Thank you to the Hagerman Fire Department and the drill team for putting on the show today. Glad we could bring it to all you folks at home. Looks like the North Lindenhurst Piston Knockers have got their mojo back. Have won the drill going into buckets, but uh, let's see what happens in this race. It's still... Uh, I guess the rest of the top five, TBD, to be determined. Okay, the final Officials event are ready to go. The buckets competition. The New York State record is 19.68, currently held by Central Islip. All right, are we good? Attention all teams. We are the good. We're on. on. The top goes oh. towards the arch. <laughs> the handle on the top goes towards the arch. Lots of interference, Paul. Huh? The first team on the line will be number four, the Central Islip Hobos. Oh, the Hobos to do lead you? it off here. You got in interference in yours? a lot of noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure do. Thank you. Okay, we stand in front? Uh, no, please. Okay. Good. Young man Arnett's going to lead the way here for the Thanks Hobos. Too. When they send all the young guys up here to dump the barrel, obviously. The new guys. Ah, right, here come the Hobos. All right, looks like a good ladder climb. First bucket's coming up. And it's down. 941. Dump it with some Ooh. nice technique. Yeah, but he just hiccuped on number five. Still keeping it going, though. Good recovery since it's his first year of dumping, I'll tell you that. Maybe two tournaments in. 13, Lenny? The end of 12, I had oh. it. 20, low 24, I have. I'll tell you Maybe what, 20. he has a hiccup on bike bucket number five, but he doesn't lose his rhythm and he keeps Time it going in the barrel. Two, three, point seven, one. Hey, they're gonna take that. I Remember Paul, that. I think he's all of uh, 18 years old maybe? No, I know, that's what I'm saying. This is only probably second time he dumped in a drill, maybe the first, I don't know. Rich, is that the first time you dumped? In, you dumped the other drill too? Yeah, so second drill dumping, you know, does a nice job recovering on that little hiccup. Yeah, he, he's looking at about uh, five weeks at this point of, yeah. uh, of practice. So yeah. 17 years old. Yeah, I know. Stolen, 17. Stolen, I stolen, I gave stolen, him a year. stolen from Bayshore. 17. 17 years old, quarterback of the Bayshore High School football yeah. team last year. T remind me to tell you a quick story about Point Pleasant with him last week. <laughs> his we, parents, uh, his, his we mom stole Jay Newhoff from Isle Terrace, so we're, <laughs> we're not afraid of doing anything. Yeah, they don't race anymore. <laughs> What you did? Oh, nobody can hear our conversation. That's so funny. Uh, here we go. Uh, Selden Slowpokes making the approach. And oh, four guys are on. Yeah, it's a, they're on the ladder. Clean as could be. First bucket's coming up. All right, he's down. 12 6 first dump. Methodical, but not too shabby. No, he's and he's putting the water in now. He's, I think he's a little bit behind up here because now he's just the buckets are coming up high. He's throwing every one. That's what's hurting yeah. him. I think Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Getting them yeah. behind. Yeah. He doesn't have the rhythm up here. He's grabbing it about at his shoulder. It's really weird. How, how are you receiving me here? I feel here great. Yeah, yeah. your, 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 your I'm earphones like are crazy. Yeah. Let me see the number on it. Look at the number. 
no, go to 87.9. I think it's, uh, uh, go to 9. Yours says 8, right? 82.9. 82.9, okay. Got, I think here, I get to go up one. Next through the lights, number 6. And your host for today's tournament, the Hagerman Gamblers. All right, so this is a big run for Hagerman. Hagerman here. You know, this has been their Achilles heel, Paul. Uh, Hagerman would love to be able to put a bucket shot together here. Salvage a little bit of this day. What was that Selden's time? Chris, what'd you get for Selden's run? 33.50. And Hagerman's coming up 12 points. Hagerman runs a 26.57 last week. What they need is somebody about six foot four to be a hoister. <laughs> no, what tall need, on this team. What they need is a 10 point contest. <laughs> yeah. Still wouldn't be yeah, Watch his kids scale it. a ladder. Yep. And they're up. And here's the set. First bucket's making its way. I'm going to check out the water in the buckets. 984. Right. He's spilling. He's behind. Oh, no, 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 no. they got to slow it down. It's too fast. Told him that the other day, yeah. too. New guys on the ladder. It's got to be more deliberate. And, boy, it's wet. There is no water conservation anywhere. There'd be heroes with the and Suffolk County Water Authority. at least authority. one bucket short as they send one more up, and they were two buckets short. Yeah, I'd go on. I would pace that That's out a That's an lot. OT. Time for Hageman, 35.80. Forgot no OT. Yeah, and that's, uh, I guess they're going to stay with 12. You get it? You better? Here I am. There you are. All right. I'm back on the air now after some technical difficulties. You know, again, Hagerman does have some new guys on the ladder they're trying out this yeah. year. They don't have a lot of reps right now, but they were flying in practice yeah. with the pace the other night, Paul. I told them you might want to just slow it down, get some confidence, get some rhythm. Like you said, the speed will come. You, you don't start out quick because everybody all, won't keep up. It all comes out of the bottom guy. The bottom guy's got to set the tone. He's got to set the pace. You know, if he's going to go faster, they're going to go faster. And the, by the time the bucket got to the top man on the ladder, he was so far behind. And then the water, it's just herky-jerky. There's water all over the place. And once your rhythm is off, it's, it's completely off for the run. Uh, here you. come the yellow birds. Yellow birds fighting for top five in the drill. Down by two to the East Ice of Guzzlers with seven points on the day. They're a combined team as well. Amityville. Yeah. Okay, they're off. Climbers are on the ladder. Mm -hmm. Bottom man set. He has to make an adjustment. He's first one in. Below. This t now this pace is very slow, but this is where I would, if I'm Hagerman, this is where I start. This is deliberate though, yep. right? Paul, and look, look at the water loss on top. None. Way, way less coming up the ladder even. The and bottom, each guy's grabbing it properly. Yeah, the bottom guy's reaching way out from the hoister though. Yeah, hey. that's way outside. He's got to, the hoister's got to get a little further under the ladder. Yeah, I'd say make a correction on that part as well. But that's the pace if I'm Hagerman, I'd be looking at Time right there. Correct. 27, uh, that's currently second place. 11.95 first dump for the yellow birds. 27, 28. Here comes Miller Place. Also an outside shot at top five. Next through the lights, number nine, the Miller Place Extinguishers. Now this is a place they've never been in before. They, I mean, old-fashioned, they know the pressure. Old-fashioned, they've done this quite a few times, but major motorized drill. And a chance to go top five. Yep. I'm thinking they have a decent bucket team, guys. I'm trying to remember. Yes. I don't know if it's the yeah. same group. Well, it's not the same old-fashioned group, obviously. It's For some reason, I think they can do this. All right. Second place is 27. First is 23. And they're off. Can they approach? Nice climb. That's That's pretty good set. And they are set. I'll check out the buckets coming up. 10-15 first. I'll tell you what, not a lot of spillage right here. Buckets look full. Hold up. Right. Goes on 12, not low bad. 24, 12 in. even at 23. Not bad. Hey, 23.71 is the number. Time for Miller Place. 24.00. Oh. Close. 24 flat. 
118, 122, 125 pace. So that is second place. If it stayed like this and the 24 ended up, they would end up top five in the drill. So hey, yeah. there's only a handful of teams left. You get that 1-2 pace, you keep that team together another year. That drops down to 1-1. One, one. You're picking up a tenth on every bucket. You're picking up a second and change. Be a good bucket team right there. Uh, North Lindenhurst. Winners of the drill. See if they can improve their overall score. 24 points so far. And a real good day. If you look at I mean, 5-5-5-4-5. Five, 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 five. You started late. You're going you're gonna to yeah. score. You're about to score big. That was an argument I always had with Harry Penny. Harry Penny was a three points a contest, eight contest, 24 points. Well, guess what? They're going to score in this race. 24 points weren't going to win this drill. <laughs> you need some first and seconds, I always said. Yeah, he was talking when it was 70 teams. Yeah. Uh, comes to knockers. Oh, a little hiccup climbing up the top. Seems to have made up, up though. May not hurt him. First one in at 10.54. Good pace coming yeah. up. The end of 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a real low 24, I think. It'll be right there with Miller Place. Time for North Lindenhurst. 23.86. And they just edge out. 86. Something else you didn't think you'd say. North Lindenhurst edges out Miller Place yeah. in buckets. Yeah. It's a new day out here, Len. But actually, I mean, that's one of Next North Lindy's better runs of the year. Yeah. The Farmingville Bandits. Yeah, uh, they, they've been struggling with the race. Lost a guy, one or two guys from last year. And a lot of kids really working on the bucket line. You guys know it, it all starts with the bucket line, and bucket line doesn't always understand that. If those buckets aren't full, get into the, to the hoister or the sponge, forget it. The guys on the ladder can... Try and work miracles. It's not going to do anything. Palmer Bill not guaranteed second in the drill, so they're going to have to put up a decent shot. Probably, I would say, the last few weeks, the most consistent best bucket team. Yeah, they've been uh, fighting to do it in 12. If they can do it in 12, they can run a 21. Agreed. But Farmingville outfitted with memorial shirts from the two fellas from Freeport who we lost this year. And here they come. Oh, they dropped one. Nine fifty-six. That first one dropped right into the hands of the pusher. They're gonna have to do something better. They're going fast now. Yeah, now they're moving it, and the, you know what? It's the buckets coming up are not that bad, but they've run out of buckets. Oh. They ran out of buckets. Thirteen again. That's, ran out of buckets. They can't do it in twelve for some After reason. After it smashed, though. they ran out. Time for Farmingville. Two six point three eight. 2638. 2638. That currently is fourth. Next to the lights, number 18, the West Sayville Flying Dutchman. You know, I don't, I mean, to my memory, it was New High Park that started throwing only one or two buckets when they got really, really good. And mm. I think teams realize that the dumper's job is a little bit easier if he doesn't have to throw as many now. Farming, but when you have a drop, you have to throw an extra one. Right. And I think that was the problem there. They did not throw the extra one. You bucket. know, the, the other difference is when you start to become a good team and then all of a sudden you're filling it now and now you can score, you haven't ever thought about that situation. You know, if, hey, if we drop one, i got to throw one. Dumpers got to know that. You've never been in that situation, yep. but now you are. Dumpers got to know that. I think part of the plan of taking the buckets away from the dumpster, that if you were having a bad run, he wasn't wasn't throwing them at you. Yeah. Oh, that too. So West Sable, I think the best bucket time of the year from what yes. I remember. Yes. The Hobos could be sneaking into second place in the drill right here with that run from Palmerville. Bottom man on the ladder, the starter here. Yep. And it's coming up. They keep in. It's a good start. 925, best first bucket. Nice good clean buckets base. coming up the side of the rail here. Good dumping action. He's just a touch behind, but he's catching up. Clean coming up the ladder. There we go. That's a nice 12 little run. A 21. Nice little run. About half a 12 it needed. We'll put them in the mix. 2-1.61. Yep. 21-61. So West Sable flexing their muscles in the bucket contest. Yep.
And I think that becomes the best time of the year. Yeah. So Lindenhurst, another team that can put up a bucket shot. And I, I noticed that I think it was the Merrick drill, guys. Watch uh, Kevin Kinley, the dumper. Watch how low he gets when he goes down. I mean, his butt's almost hitting the arch. Chris, if you can hear us, make sure you get a shot of that if we have any cameras that, that definitely show it. Gets so low. I mean, unbelievable. Yeah. Well, fellas of smaller stature have to do that to get down there. Yeah, yeah, but you just watch how he squats. He's a player. All right, here come the snails. Good climbs, fast pick. First one in. 897, best first bucket of the day. Be cold. Yeah, they're doing a nice job not spilling any water coming up the rail, I'll tell you that, but they've also run out of buckets. Not gonna need End them. of 12. 12 had run. to settle. High 21. Not going to catch West Sable. Time for Lindenhurst. 2, 1.64. Oh, uh, wow. Boy, you were awfully 64. confident, Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> you were awfully confident. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow. Just a skosh. So that's going to be right now. That's second place. Number 20, the East Islip. Hobo's third, Knocker's fourth. Fifth place right now is Miller Place in the contest with just the <sighs> Guzzlers to go. So let me set up with the Guzzlers. So the Guzzlers at nine, they're going to need uh, a couple points. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they're going to need two points here. So they would have to beat a 2380 to go down the track. Sitting with nine, currently as stands. West Sable has 11. This is where your 13th and 14th man on the team is important yeah. to tell you that. Yeah. You know, may, maybe you want to know, maybe you don't want to know, but I always like knowing. What you was know, that number again, Paul? 2380 they got to beat. Not sure how much they practiced this. Yeah, I, I was over there talking to Chuck just before, and I said, yeah, you guys just have to run. He gave, kind of gave me the roll in the eyes. Okay. <laughs> Time for East Islip, 33.07, All right, so that's our drill, everybody. And that's a quick finish. Yeah, the knockers are going to win it. They're going to get two points right there. They're going to score 26 on the day for first place. Um, but first place in that in that race goes to West Sable, 2161. Second, uh, Lindenhurst, the Snails, 2164. Third place, the Hobos. Fourth place, North Lindy. Fifth place, Miller Place, scoring in another contest today. Overall for the day, North Lindy, 26. Second place is going to be the Hobos with the finish. Three points each of the last two contests. They're going to go to 16. Third place is going to be the Farmingville Bandits with 14. Fifth place is going to be the Hageman Gamblers with 12. And fifth place is going to be 11 points on the back of that five for the West Sable Flying Dutchman. Overall, yeah, competitive drill. A lot of points spread out. Knockers kind of with four fives and a four, kind of and a two. Mm -hmm. Run away and hide a little bit at the end. Tough break of the day has to go to Farmingville losing the B truck in yep. the pump contest. Yep. You know, most Results, definitely. the buckets competition. First place, five points. Number 18, West Sayville. Second place, four points. Number 19, Lindenhurst. Third place, three points. Number four, Central Islip. Fourth place, two points. Number 15, North Lindenhurst. Fifth place, one point. Number nine, Miller Place. All right, we'll get the final announcement soon. But I, I think uh, who's the best in buckets have definitely flexed their muscles here today. Yeah, yeah oh, yeah. You know, we were talking that about how good Farmerville was, but once again, West Sable now comes back and shows, hey, we're, we're pretty good at this. Yeah, <laughs> and they sure are. And, and Linnerhurst shows up with a 2164. So, Linnerhurst, I, you know, you look at Linnerhurst's day, you know, they had, a, they had a tough day. Eight points, didn't start out well in ladders. Tough day for Linnerhurst overall. 
motor pump that they, they blows out the back of the, the, the nozzle. Just unfortunate. Had a good shop developing at that point. Yep. But you keep it together and you end up running a 2164 in, in buckets. That's something you can drill. think positive going into next week. Nice way to finish. And they're back here. Yep. Points, West Sayville. In fourth place with 12 points, Hagerman. Central Islip. And in first place, with 26 points, and the winners of the ex Chief Joseph Connolly Invitational, the North Linden Hearst Piston Knockers! All right. the, the Knockers are going to go to. Thank you for attending. We will see you here next week. The Knockers are going to go to Labor Day. Um, Back on track. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's probably the best way And to I think it's it. going to be exciting. You know, you got Farmerville who's still. Itching to get so we can win the race in the buck contest. They got to be hungry. Yep. You got, hey, yeah, I, used, I saw them down there after that pump and they couldn't run a bunch of them and they were yeah, like, oh, that's, my God. that's tough. Can it get worse timing than that? But you think about it, right? I said this when it happened that BO shot, when, when 870 is first place in the contest and you guys are decent at BOs, you got to yep. run that shot. You got yeah, to. You gotta get you're going to be a champion, you're going to be a winner yep. in any drill. That was the way you take advantage of it. So you can't let those little things fly away. But talking about BOs, how about Miller Place again? First place. B hose Miller Place extinguishes first time ever in a motorized joke. Congratulations to them on that. Yep, and they score in a few contests today. Miller Place, I think, scores in four, nope, three out of out of eight contests. I don't know if they've seven, ever done that right? before. They didn't run C ladder, They didn't run right? C ladder. Yeah. So three out of their seven contests. That's we pretty see, good. We Absolutely. see progress there. It's awesome. And and next week, I think we have a capability or the possibility of having maybe 20 teams for a Labor Day drill here. Considering you're going to get some Nassau County teams, you know, Oyster Bay, Fort Washington, West Hempstead. North Belmore, who can race right now, you know, join in the mix. So looking forward to a good drill next week here at Labor Day weekend, Saturday. I don't know what time. Is it a 12 o'clock start? I think it's 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock start next 10 week. 10 o'clock. I'm sure it'll be posted right. somewhere, but pretty sure it's 10. All right. Well, check the website for the start, and we'll see you here next week. 10 o'clock, you said? 10 o'clock yep. start. All right, good. These 1 o'clock starts. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that'll conclude things here. Thanks to everybody that helped out and the media committee back in full strength here. Pat, thanks for uh, flying out from California special just to, yeah. uh, just to come my, play with us. My pleasure. It's been, uh, it's great. Nothing, nothing like this. <laughs> Some people go to Super Bowls. I go to tournaments. <laughs> How is it explaining this, our sport in California, what we do? <laughs> I don't try. Yeah. Sure you got to see it to believe move. it. You know? Just give them the website and say, you know, watch on Saturday. True story. Yeah, All and right. then uh, a shout out to Ernie. Happy fiftieth, yes. Happy birthday, Billy, Corn <laughs> Billy Cornell. <laughs> we missed you. I understand there's a few guys gonna make it out to your house, so uh, save them some food. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he'll be up till four in the morning waiting for him. All and right, I'm it. signing off here, guys. Yep. I'll be watching next week. Talk be to you all, all next week. All, all right. right.